1999 Oh, what a lovely time This little life for mine They gave me mine to shine After her legs in the twine This little light to mine It had to blow they mind I'm a premature kind Had a premature mind Before the age of five Kissing on these girls And chasing after they behind Now my mom whooping mine And by the age of nine I remember my first rhyme All that red ink on college rule lines I was in grade five Numb to the fact that I had a great mind It just wasn't that time For me to realize That nine years on this earth For a very long time Now if you think that I'm lying Go inside my mind Don't be afraid of what you'll find Everything will be fine But let me reference that little line You're now tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of game. Yeah, 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 man. You're tuned into million dollars worth of game, man. That was Hemo Vibes, right? Hemo Vibes. Hemo Vibes, man. HVO Vibes. Vibes. Check him out on YouTube, man. 99. Official. Spitting, you know, you know how that go. But listen, man, we, we, you know, uh, I'm right here with the one and only man. This is the West Side Edition, man. I'm right here with uh, Gilly, Gilly the King, nigga. You don't, don't, bitch, don't introduce me. Don't get tough because we got. Some, I'm just telling don't you. Don't get tough. Night the pips. I'm, I'm, I'm gang banging the date, nigga. Fuck is wrong with you? Don't get tough, man. Listen, we ain't, we ain't gotta get we ain't gotta get tough, man. Don't do that, man. Gang banging that day. Listen, oh man, you can say whatever, man. I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow Two Six Seven. Got my man Tony the Closer here. We got some special. Special, special guest today. Uh, That's 227, man. I mean, what you mean 227? It's 267, man. Don't, oh, 227. I thought it was Don't do that. Show. Come on, man. Don't do that because we on your side. Yeah. Is that what he got the name from? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. See, see, this is, mm. come on, you. We got two special people today. Two special individuals. Uh, two of my, uh, my track mates in the penitentiary, man. And two in- institutionalized brothers. That's... Uh, <laughs> Extremely institutionalized. Extremely institutionalized. I sit on the not. phone. And, I sit on the phone with us, us three, us four together, and all they do is have jail stories. And I'm like, all right, cool. That smoked salmon was anything. Smoked oh, yeah. clams. No, 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 no. Hold on. Before we get into that, let's get into our first sponsor. Power by Barstool Sports. Me and I was worth a game is brought to you by Amazon Music. I've told you I've been using Amazon Music for a while. It's been amazing from the start. As a part of my Prime Day, Prime members can get four months of Amazon Music unlimited for just 99 cents. That access to 60 million songs on demand, ad free. That means you ain't got to listen to no commercials. You ain't got to listen to no ads for less than a dollar. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. For less than one dollar. I didn't know that. Dollar. You know so you now. can play songs you want, when you want. Just all you got to do is stream it. Amazon Music. Thousands of podcasts, no charge, along with thousands of stations and top playlists. So make sure you get the Amazon Music right now. Download, go to Amazon, download Amazon backslash millions, Amazon.com backslash millions for your prime day deal on Amazon Music. Let's get to it. Let's get into me and Osworth for game. So I'm sitting here with two good brothers of mine, you know. Big U. What side? Whack 100. What side? <clears throat> what side? Can, can you please tell the people from all over the world what set you guys represent? Well, it all depends on what's going on. Big U from Rolling 60s, I'm from Pyro. But if something's going on, wherever's going on, we all, we, we the same thing. So it's politics. So big you, I see you shaking your head. <laughs> what that meant? You was like, "Cause I was born in the ghetto." <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and I'm the king of R and B. Oh, yeah, all right. I I I don't think so. Cause I dust you off right now. I just did that. Oh, okay. I love it. But I'm from the Rolando Sintas. I have no idea what that means. But I have absolutely no fucking idea what that means. Maybe that's Aztec. What is that? What is that? You know. Break it down. The Rolando Sensentas. What does Sensentas mean? That's some new shit he just I, 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 I've never heard him say this in my life. <laughs> What's the Rolando Sensentas? Say hi to Cherish. We're busy, Cherish. Hi. Hey, Cherish. I just wanted to tell you today was I looked on Instagram and apparently today is National Cancer Money Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Send money to your daughter today. Oh, send money to your daughter today. Get the 
Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Oh, oh, my man. phone broke. My phone just broke. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> She Damn. called him and said, I, I just seen on Instagram was National <laughs> Senior doing some money some day. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Oh, you know that? that was gangster. Yo, yo, so, we got, I knew you, Big you from the rolling 60s. That's what the Rolando Sincentas. Oh, that's Previously. What, oh, okay. Rolando Re- must mean Rolando Sincentas must mean 60s. Uh, well, I tell you, see. Oh, okay. See, we're on the same page. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Okay, so, when did, the Bloods and the Crips kind of start kicking it together. I don't know when the overall Bloods and Crips, I don't know what they do. I know what we do. Well, the Bloods and the Crips originally started kicking together because the Bloods came from the Crips. Definitely not. See, it was already Crips De- before the Bloods. Blood. Definitely. Wait, 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 wait. wait. So, the, the fuck wait, wait. so the Bloods is Crip babies? Definitely not. See, I wouldn't say they is, baby, they're little brothers. What it is, oh, oh, little no, cousins. No, no, no. They the no, little cousins no, no, of the blood. No, no, what it is is, the Crips. let me tell you what it is, right? It's, it's the same thing as the Obama thing and slavery in the White House, right? Huh? When something been minimized <laughs> and oppressed and come up to be stronger than what they thought it would be, then they want to be associated with the, with the dot moves like that. He know goddamn well, right? Then you see how I'm letting him bloods. have his turn. Yeah, let no him have his turn. bloods come from no goddamn Crips. Where, where you get that from? <laughs> Now, you, you want to know? Now, let, let's talk. Know. Let's, let's talk. Let, let, let him get the floor. Facts and history. Okay. Let him give him the history. That's what we're here for. So, the first thing in the planet was Crips. Mm-hmm. The first star was a blue star. So, it was no bloods? No, it was no bloods. It was a Crips. The first thing was Raymond Washington, take it back to original form. They started doing it the, the way we do gang banging. There was always gangs, businessmen, journeymen, and all that so forth. And then there came Raymond Washington. And they created that new form of what we see now as Crips and Bloods. Crips came first, then Bloods came shortly after that. But before Bloods, there was Pyrus. So originally before Pyru Street, you know what I'm saying, they was kind of like Cripping over there too. And then the brothers on Pyru Street took on that name and they took on the red banner. So it kind of like we all said Blood, the word Blood. Like, everybody didn't really have a connotation to red or blue because we all said it. Then somewhere about 70, I got to horsemen in 79. So in 79, it started representing, blood was representing the red rag and then cuz representing the, the blue rag. So after about 79, 80, it mm-hmm. went to where the word B-L-O-D stood for the red side. Mm-hmm. And so, but the Pyrus. Was a stiff. There was a street out of Compton, and they started forming that after the Crips too again. Mm-hmm. Oh, listen, we won't take away from Crips was <clears throat> here. Hey, Amen. They was really here. Hey, wait, wait. They was really here protecting communities, right? Against some other shit. Right? Hey, is that right? They was protecting the community. Amen. Against some other shit, right? But ain't no Crips came over there and preach, said, Lord, preach. Hey, listen, we want y'all to be the power rule. Hey, Amen. We want y'all to be our opposition. Amen. Right? No Crips no. came over there. Who creates their opposition? I didn't say that. No, that's exactly what you said by saying no. the Bloods came from the Crips. That's no, what you're saying. No, no. Because it was a little opposition. No, no, we might. A lot of, like, a lot of we previous, might, hey, listen. A lot the of the G, there's, there's Bloods that, like, if you go back, like, even for instance, if you ever interview Nick Cannon, he'll tell you his, uh, uh, his, his, his father and him was original Crips. Yeah, but this San Diego. San Diego. And it goes the same way. Hold on. And, uh, Hold on. If you go to original Pyru, they're going to tell you they, Hold on. they was Crips first. Everything in San Diego they was Crips first. originated from up here. There's no fact. 59th Street in San Diego. 5-9 Brim, come from your area. You know right. I'm telling the yes, truth. Sir. Skyline Pyru. You are over-talking br- the question. It's a branch from from. Com- You're over-talking the question. So whatever the hell the they was doing down in San Diego primarily was totally... We was oblivious to that. You know that. Am I Biden and he's Trump? I don't know. Definitely. I, 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 I fuck with Trump. <laughs> I, no, you, wait a minute. Ho, 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 ho. Y'all got something to comment. Wait, I fuck with y'all Trump. got something to comment because you fuck with Trump, too. I fuck with Trump. No, I don't fuck with Trump no more. No more. Because at one time Trump, you told me if you don't vote for Trump, Trump, you would chuck. I, I not know what that. to expect. <laughs> Biden, I, I don't know that. if it's a sneak attack. Trump going to tell you what's going to happen. Get ready for it. Yeah, at least because that devil. Because Lucifer, they say Lucifer looked good. 
and he was cutting motherfuckers from behind. Look, so, so let me ask you a question. So is what he said true? If you go to the original Pyrus, they was Crips? No, they definitely weren't Crips. What he's saying is, like he said, a lot of people said blood. A lot of people said cuz too. But cuz and blood, he knows, meant something totally different. It was a no, 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 that's not what. Cuz didn't mean you cripping. No, cuz still don't mean you cripping in a lot of places. Well, no, Just we like talking about, no, we talking about. But I'm talking about in, original, in Los Angeles. The original, like the the answer to the question is if we got to be intelligent, we we address these things. Sure. I don't mean all bloods or all pyrus. I'm just letting you know the history of it because it started like on the east side, Remy Washington. Then they started moving. So then, as different fractions, because it was wasn't everybody like saying Crips. So it was different fractions like. Uh, when it was, you know, you go to a different school and one thing is moving, you hear about this different group of groups, mm-hmm. everybody claiming crip. Mm-hmm. Then naturally as it goes from school to school or places to places, people start wanting to be the opposition to that. Mm-hmm. So then as an opposition, you start having people that say, I don't want to be a crip. So, but dudes who were already crips start saying for whatever reason, they start beefing with dudes for whatever reason. Then they start changing. They change over to be other things. Well, but if you ever study the history, and I know, no, no, and I know it's some fact of what he said. Yeah, I, I do know it's a little fact of what he just said. How the fuck you know it's fact? Listen, you wasn't because listen, listen, no, because listen, I was in, but listen, I was in a studio with a youngin from Camden, and he said, New Jersey. Yeah, Camden, New Jersey. Yeah, they turn, but they got a lot of power. And he said, uh. I'm a, but he was saying he a blood or whatever. So I said, young kid, like growing up in Camden, like how you would, you know, how you become a blood, how you become a gang member, like. And his answer really was, well, you know, everybody else was a crip, so I just decided to come a blood, and I was like, no, but that shit, we talking about, no, kind of but, listen, talking about but, but listen, no, that's how kind of that, that's that's exactly what he said. That's not definitely how it happened. I'm not saying that's how it was. See, you got to have the history. See, see, Wag don't got the history. Hold on. You got to get the history. Wait, wait, you on. ain't got that fucking history. Wait, wait, hold on. So what you telling history. me is, first of all, you telling me is, mm-hmm. niggas on Pyro Street, right? No, no, I ain't saying Pyro Street. No, fuck, that's all I'm speaking on. You telling me. No, they the original start, ones. Yeah, it didn't start over a bullshit squabble over jacket with a crib dude. Pyro Street, they wasn't Pyro like they was today. It was they Pyro was Boys. They were Street. No, yeah, Pyro Street, but they was Pyro Boys. A bunch of niggas that grew up on the same street. Just like I claim listen, AG. Listen, listen, the individual who got into the altercation with the Crip dude just happened to be off of Pyro Street. Mm-hmm. They squabble started, went where it went, and they damn sure wasn't going to say, well, fuck it, we Cripping. Right? So they definitely went the other way. They wasn't red. They wasn't. No, no, but no, you saying like they was cripping and then we went that Hell way. Hell no, I never said the pirates were cripping. No, you said we came if from I y'all. If I did, I didn't imply that. You said we came from y'all. You said is, we came from y'all. Because I was only referencing a pirate to my side, so I used pirate street. Give you a history of pirate street. Right? But before any of that, it was. Oh, the, the crips was there. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight you on that. And, and wait, and and it did it, it didn't mean for what y'all what it meant. She was one of sixty nine. Anything after that, it's second. It's second. You mean cripping? It's second. No, definitely not. Definitely because oh, oh, in wait. our world, in our world, we always gonna be pride, man. He know that. <laughs> he know that. One thing he know. Listen, four, five, six to one when it started. Y'all five, six to one. Nigga, come on, my nigga. When what the homies, mean? when the homies start cripping, start pyroing and blood, you niggas was always already deep as a motherfucker. Was you not? What you mean? Was y'all still not, deep? The crip, no, no, no. Exactly. Well, my they point. Still deep. But, mean, no, no, but watch I'm, this. I'm, I'm but, but look, stuff. but look. Here goes the point. When they seen it evolving, they couldn't stop it. It was over. Y'all couldn't stop it. Over. What you mean? It's Damn. stronger ever. To, stronger than day. Then. No. See, I'm not a part of that. What you mean? I'm it on was the other over. Side of heaven. Let it would have been like reverse. Six I'm bloods, six power rules to one. That's crib. not true though. We wouldn't allow y'all to flourish. It wouldn't have happened. Uh, how could y'all have so stopped that talk, from yeah, happening? It's how, easy. To, it's six how, to one, nigga. That's easy. The fuck you mean? That's you would have had to continue to be on ignorance. 
Exactly. At some point, people have to grow. Up. On, we didn't stop doing ignorant shit to about twenty years ago. No, that was yeah, a long yeah, time way ago. before that. I stopped way on the ignorant stuff way before that. When you had that Jerry curl, you nah, I cut it off. Wait, wait, wait. When you was in Minnesota, wait, wait, wait. Let me see. I cut the Jerry curl off. I left all the he bullshit. He stopped like the Samson. ignorance probably with his cripping and blood. Yeah. But his internal cripping crip beef, nah. He ain't stopped shit. No. Well, yeah. What? When he went what? to the pen. You read me? No, you read, before that I That nigga couldn't pen. even walk a yard what? with more than four sixties on the yard. That's Why do you I think that at, was? That's because I Why was Why do you the think police? they would say, dude right here in this file can't be on the yard if it's any more the four or five this was in the whole state had, straight up yeah, yeah. the no, whole I, state because that state. Has come from ignorance that because i was Dang. at the police Dang. no 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 they didn't say oh my god in yes. a prison yard my case was on yeah. the police so okay oh, so nigga, what nigga was your did case thing. Uh, i had some i had all, majority of my cases was on officers starting from my incarceration in 1991 all of my cases on officers because you but, really know karate though right I knew him. I, I grew up with him. We grew up. No, together. I'm saying you. No, I'm not the nigga karate. I'm talking about you know yeah. karate. Yeah, me and Wallow. Yes, no, 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 thank Wallo you. Don't know my name is the fuck out here. <laughs> no, no, no. People know my name okay, out here okay, in the martial arts. Okay, 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 he okay, know no, that no, they no, was no, talking about me in this prison. Fuck out here. They was talking about me in Tino and San Quentin. Hey, I know what both of you niggas got in common. Y'all both got black belts at jail jitsu, bitch. That's the same shit. I'm glad I wasn't institutionalized. Fuck you, man. Me and you was just talking about Chi Chi's this morning. I don't know nothing about no Chi Chi's. I don't know nothing about Chi Chi's. Hey, he woke up with his. Oh, yeah, yeah, while I was smoking salmon. I had to smoke clams. He fucking eat like the rice and all that shit. He front. No, no, no. Chi Chi? What is Chi Chi? What is Chi Chi? We don't use that terminology in prison. The soup, the rice, what we was talking about this morning. When you text me. We call it a spread. Oh, the spread. Yeah, nigga, the spread. You talking about you miss spreads this morning. Right. I don't know about yes, no chi chi bullshit. Yes, I spread. <laughs> None about no chi chi. No, no, that's cool. That's some East Coast shit. That's East Coast. Chi chi, that's East, East Coast, Coast as in the region. Oh, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. You feel wait, me? Wait, you mean chi chi? Wait, he 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 nigga. wait, wait, hold on. Bro, oh, so Crips and Bloods didn't do that. Okay, oh, here you go. No, with shit. No on, the, on the East, on the East Coast, wait, they the fuck with. Wait, wait, hold on. I know, I know, Big, you not talking with uh-huh. me and Big. You got introduced to each other maybe two thousand and nine. Yeah, about two thousand. Right. And is that when you got your ass whooped in the movie? Well, yeah. Rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle. That's the difference. So we're going to get to that, right? That was no. movie. The, wasn't you in the other movie? movie? No, he was in the first. That the was New the, Mexico movie? First, oh, no, yeah. That was, that oh, was, that was fuck Steven Seagal up at the end. Man, man, you ain't right, fuck nigga. no Steven. Yes, that was I a did. stunt movie. Listen, 2011, did that but, movie. The first but, movie was me with him when I put Nipsey, him, and. Black uh, then was in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I seen even the other movie. The one. Yeah, V. Rain. Shout out to Wacko. So, so you know, I meet Big Gil, you know. We kicking it, you know what I'm saying? So I talked to a nigga, right, from Philly that live out here. And the nigga say, yeah, man, I see you be you be hanging with draws. I said, what? <laughs> nigga named Draws. I said, yeah, hanging with draws? <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about, man? He said, well, no, you be with draws. I said, dog, I don't know what type of kinky shit you on. <laughs> I be with draws. He said, yeah, big you. I said, what the fuck you just call him Draws for? He said, that's his name. It's another name, too. A couple I, names. I said, I ain't never in my life calling a nigga Draws, man. Big U, why the fuck is your name Draws? I'm confused. Yeah. I, I, let me see you on me. Uh-huh. What? That was what do you that was some shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did you just that say? That was some shit. <laughs> because that's another thing y'all niggas got in common. That was the whole story. In jail, you was Draws, he was Panties. Get the what? fuck out of here. That was my fucking name. No nigga, you was, don't listen to this. He was panties this and goofy ass nigga. He was drawers. He if was on that penitentiary movie type shit. Going <laughs> no, no, dude, he lying no, on me. Listen, hey, this nigga lying on me. Hey, listen. Y'all was, know he had multiple jobs in the joint, right? Yo. He yo, was yo, a lifeguard listen. in the prison showers. Hannibal. Oh. You never heard of Hannibal? No. Yeah. That's, that's him too. I was. That's, oh, yeah. I forgot that's his that's other name. That's his brother's name. Muslim name. Hannibal. Black name. Hannibal draws Big U. This is the most funny part about it, right? Good. When a Bring motherfucker be talking to us and, and be talking about the same person, they don't know they're talking about the same person. Wow. Yeah. Hey, Big U, what's up? Shit, nothing much? Yeah, I seen that nigga draws the other day. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. Remember Gabe did that shit? <laughs> <laughs> hey, why they call you draws, though? 
Cuz me never seen me. You know, he don't want to see. See, I don't know. Let me find out you was old kinky nigga. Up oh no, <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> I call he was him so, so snatch. Big you, no, niggas might have got the young shit whipped out of him. Young niggas shit. like this. I call him big young you. niggas all over the tent. Here comes draws. Here comes draws. No, I wasn't. If I'm trying to get his attention, I text him Eugene. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is Milo calling me by my mama. What I always say that, but listen, man. Let me ask you a question, man. Was you up there with the nigga? Was you up there with mama giving name, man? Yeah. I yeah, you his motherfuckers. Hey, I ain't worried about that. That's who you need short. to talk to. His mama? Yeah. Man. She the real game. Oh, his mama? I heard him shut him down like two weeks ago on the phone. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shut him. We were like five of us on the phone. What's she telling? She shut him down. She told him. Call me you a buster. Buster, you got you your damn call nerves. Call had your mama waiting two, three hours. She called you a buster. Oh, oh, man. Buster. But hold up, hold up, hold up. No, no, no. Hold up, hold up. Before you get into that. Wait, before before you, you get into that. that. No, no. That ain't worse than his his, his, his woman. Your woman too. Y'all had to get yeah, permission yeah, yeah, yeah. to come you outside. Had to, had to Both of y'all niggas had to get permission. No, All that, that, that no, no nigga, what? nigga, what? we don't fuck you lying. Hey, he all on the gram. Yeah, nigga, we can squat. We can squat, nigga. I'm telling you, niggas. Hey, I had muscles back in '89. Nigga, I'll tell you this. I always take a day. Man, I know he was running. I was running every goddamn when we were just out in Atlanta. Oh, we running. We get to the room at 5 in the morning, back up 8 in the morning, running again. So when I get back off the plane, I Watch usually your foot, take man. You day oh, shit. to just calm so, down. Okay, come so down. let's get this right. I'm going to hear because it's y'all. Because you was running and you, that's why I yeah, had to ask boss lady. Could you had to ask the ex-boss lady. Because you, you, you damn sure turned that phone. Well, she was supposed to come up with an excuse for me not to come. Because oh, I set it up oh, for the morning. Oh, and then once she shit. said I could come. I, you could go. I had to get up here and come down here. Uh, you was late. Uh, oh, but now, hold on. Let me now, tell you about. We, I wasn't we, even. We, we I was coming. Hold on. The honeycomb we, 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 we in the Dominican Republic, no. right? No, we wasn't even supposed to come. Right? Listen, we in the Dominican Republic, right? Who? No, matter of fact, we in St. Thomas. Me, my wife, Big U, his wife, uh, Big Softy, Ving Range. You know? Break right down as soon as you say something. So, we sitting at the table. His wife, Stacy, telling. Yeah, nigga, because you're getting soft. <laughs> Out of nowhere, they was having a personal conversation. Right, hold on. You know Stacy Don Mudo. <laughs> what? Whoop. Yeah. So his you offspring, got your woman his offspring come through a home, girl. Yeah. You don't marry in, you go out. No, no, hold on. No, no. Oh, Stacy Don Mudo. So wait. Yeah. yeah. Come on. So you yeah. wasn't got her out of the... Yeah, he knew what his yeah, strength was at. Right? He knew so what time was. But I'm saying, how the fuck did you do that? Because he knew what his time it was. How did you go to the other outside... And Man, the be, nigga when they kidnapped one, they ain't put nothing. They ain't go through it with you about that. I went through it with a couple of them. I had to train a couple of them <laughs> in the right way. Hey, look, his enemies too. He went Ooh. to it. He didn't go to like some just neutral them, homies. Right? He go to his rolling sixties direct enemies. No, these niggas was in love with her. Huh? I'm talking about. I had to whip a couple of niggas. <laughs> Damn. But like, well, let me tell you, she tell a nigga. You know, it, I don't even think it was for the rest of the table to hear. But what she, she tell a nigga on some deep shit. She said, yeah, nigga, because you're getting soft. What? And he say, hey, so hey. Let me tell no, 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 no. Hold on. What he say, no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Gonna, After you I tell a story. After I what? tell a story. <laughs> right. So, I, you know me. It was more I, to I, the look, story. I'm instigating. Damn. Getting soft. So, now it's out the whole table. She looked right at me. Yeah, Gilly. Nigga getting soft. Now so so now he gotta say now he gotta speak up. No 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 no. See what I tell you about. I ain't getting so. One of my homies was at your house, and he did something she ain't like. She wanted me to break the nigga arm, and I ain't break the nigga. Yeah, she looked at no, him and said, "Listen." She looked at him and said, "Yeah, you should have broke his fucking arm." I'm gonna give you an analogy. No. She let me in. I go to sleep. Now catch this analogy. Catch this analogy. You remember how you called me about Lil Youngster, our little family? <laughs> he did some fuck shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And so you you could have cut his head off. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Cut an ear off. But we don't. Stacy was like, you should have cut the nigga ear off. Or you should have did something to him. Broke like, the no. nigga arm. Damn. This, the the only that. difference is. Stacy, a The reason why a woman doesn't she rule a, a nation. Reason why a woman shouldn't rule a nation. Because they emotional. She will rule with emotion. Emotions. And a man won't. Because I understand. Sometimes if I do something, 
Let me explain it to but you. But you though. acted off emotion. No, you telling no, me you didn't. just beat you me whoever it was with one like our it little didn't dude. Warrant, okay. It didn't warrant me because yeah. I could have lost more by being physical with one of the little homies who did something wrong. Or I could have let that go and let everybody else see that I show mercy sometime. And her mind is no, cut his ear off. You should at least cut his ear off. You should have got some. But every time you don't use Brian. So okay, so it's safe to say that it was growth involved. It was growth. That's nah, what I, that, no. And she was she was like, no, no you getting soft. She like you should have. And I'm like, no. But look but at where then now. If we now don't do it that way. Never had another product since then. Still doing everything. He's but hold to. on, though, bro. If we don't do it that way, and we taking count, then they telling us we should make better decisions. And we being too mean. You know, I learned from youngsters. Let me tell you something. I had a situation having one of my homeboys. He didn't pay a he didn't pay a debt, and he didn't do something. And I called one of my other little homies. Said, "Look, bring him to me." So when he got to me, but before he got to my little homie, said my other homie said, "Uh, you like you like pops? You, you know you like uh? Like man, you gonna have niggas scared in the world because we can't make one mistake." And so ever shit. since my little homeboy said that to me. And he was basically talking for simply for somebody else. He wasn't even the one who was on the table. But he made me realize, like, okay, you can't just be bronze all the way. And I hate to give a story on like my one of my one of my one of my close friends. But here go the problem. From Main with Street. That. But you know what the Let problem was, right? With that. Let me give you one more story. Here go the problem, no Dale bro. Dog. Prime example. Here go the problem. Yeah, real shit. Here go the Prime problem, example. right? <clears throat> you got our generations, we kind of grew up with the, we was running our own shit and fuck what you talking about, right? So, but coming up like that, right, we never got in trouble because it was a problem. Yeah. Even if we was wrong, we squatted up because we had the squad, we was head of our squads and we went at the problem, whether it was the homies, some enemies, some older niggas, whoever it was. So, as you get older, right, you're not really used to dealing with, we just gonna smash you. Right. So by him saying, and he right, because by him mentioning Dell Dog, you gotta remember it's some young niggas in there that got some of your traits. Right. Gotta yeah. knock your ass down. Right. Right? So and some of these dudes are, I don't, I don't, I, I like the I like the teacher and student over the over the, the shot call the thing. Mm -hmm. Some of these dudes, they we teach us to them as students, and one day they have fill our shoes, mm -hmm. right? And then hopefully we've taught them to show a little mercy, I have a little patience, because mm -hmm. you can't take a, a real motherfucker and break him when he had this early stage of growth mm -hmm. to where he doesn't really turn into what he could have become because we wasn't we wasn't great teachers. It's right. like if a motherfucker that really can't read and you instead of teaching him how to read, you like you stupid motherfucker. You ain't gonna you can't sound out the word. He had never learned how to sound out the goddamn word. Right. Gil say that to me about my nephew a lot. Cause I be on him. Yeah. What you mean? I just be on him. I just I, cause you you breaking him though. No, no. I be on him. He ain't in the streets and all that, but I be on him because I'm not saying that I just be I, I understand was going on with the youth, and I understand how a simple ride, you could lose your life. A caption, a caption on Instagram, you could lose your life. Mm -hmm. Like it's different. So I just be so much, like just just paranoid and just be up on him about every little move. Like no, you get it. And Gil be like, cause you gotta let him, you know. Gil, he does that a lot. He does that. One thing I can say because I can go to his house. It could be twelve kids over there. <clears throat> Ain't none of these kids got his last name. Half the kids, he don't know how long they've been there, but he know they getting, they going to school, going to football practice. But I'm gonna tell you what's happening. These little motherfuckers, right? Because they in that environment, they in the sixties, right? So they gonna cuz, they gonna neighborhood, they gonna do all that. But then Wacker show up at the house. Right. Walk in the door and they know, oh, that's whack from Paru, right? Right. So at a younger age, they getting something we didn't get. Absolutely. They're seeing the interaction right so that hatred or that dislike or that because it's now breaking the cycle. now they start talking to me and then you know i do my shit right. i've been asking some questions mm -hmm. reward them with a little money we go over here get them some shoes or whatever mm -hmm. or they see me donate something to their uh, mm -hmm. football thing or whatever so then mm -hmm. i become unk mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? So he does and not and not a nigga from the power. Yeah, exactly. Room. He does a lot of right. that. So so, and, and, so with that, the colors, right? You know, being from the East Coast, I see y'all real heavy. You know, real heavy on the colors. What's what's acceptable? What's a not? What's not acceptable for you know what I mean for people to come well, you out can't, here? Can't you can't? Me and him was different. Like we we have arguments. Me and him didn't had arguments. We ain't talking six months. But if it's his wife's birthday or something going on, I'm gonna text him, "Happy birthday, sis," and all that. And then if it get a little bad, he do the same thing with my wife. And if it get a little bad, I just I I can sick his wife on him. And then she'll start getting on Because we know who the boss is. Because we know who the boss is. Because he always do shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Because him always just fucking up. Always. Always. No, listen. It's always the young nigga fucking up. I'm always the one fucking up? You always fucking up. So you've never, you never, you never was a little out of, out of wrong about something? Not even a little bit? On some real shit? I mean, Probably, speak what we yeah. was wrong about. I'm real. But it ain't nothing. He tried to go to war with me. Did he tell you that? No, this nigga. No, 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 no. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Tried to go to war with me. Wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Did you not try to go to war with me? Crazy. You tried to go to war with me. No, this. That's why I'm more of a brother than you than you are to me. Wait, wait. So, so you feel as though you feel like you are definitely more of a brother to big you than he is to you? Yeah, you tried to initiate a war with me. That's a damn. With all the shit I had to take because of this nigga. Did you not try to initiate a war with me? Are you fucking kidding me? Do I show up? This nigga has. Do phantom, I show up, bro? This nigga has do I phantom show up? beefs in his head. No, I don't. I put, I put a caption on this phantom nigga beef. text one night. I love his he, shit. He did a um. What was that fucking? Text I have message? no idea what you're talking about. You know what the fuck I'm talking about? I have no about. recollection. This nigga did a fucking text, and I made a comment on the, under the text with smiling faces and some other shit, laughing. This nigga calls and tell my what is that you trying to diss me, nigga? I'm like, you know what why? The fuck? You know why I did that? <laughs> You know why I did that? This nigga just bipolar. You know why I did that? <laughs> you bipolar. Because he's bipolar. No, that's not why I Was did. you a cell gangster no, in the I joint? I did that because I can't. This nigga's bipolar. Ooh. Yeah, he did it because he you can. Was you a cell gangster in the joint? Nigga, I did damn near six years off seven with half. Well, you tell him what that means, bro? I mean, he called Kev all time. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here. I was a fucker. But listen, <laughs> listen. Modern day Listen, you strunk since you came home from jail. Is it true that the uh, Aryan Brotherhood was selling you steroids that you was no, using? I never took steroids. Well, you but was. Yeah, well, no, how that. the fuck you was that big in jail? Listen to me. You didn't know that. We're going to pull the picture up. We're going to pull the picture up. Our workouts are extensive. We got high stars, high stars dyes in there. Who told you to add steroids? <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm just Not convinced. only on that, bro. Well, you know, I was one of the dudes. I didn't smoke cigarettes, smoke weed, drink coffee. I didn't do none of that. In you didn't do none of that either. He, he looked like big. you, nigga. Yeah, but you just said he had some panty shit going on. <laughs> oh, the fuck was panty. I don't know about what's going on. He you was fucked out of No, he was drawing to his panty. I don't know. I didn't have the fuck out of his panty. I don't know what happened. Thank God they didn't have the Hey, listen. How did you get the How did you get the steroids from the AB? I don't, nigga, I don't even fuck with needles. Bro, this that nigga said the steroids in the joint. I just asked him, I ain't got some monsters. No, I'm going to keep it all the way real low. I'll figure it out, though. All up, not the new school niggas like Blueface and Nipsey and none of them. you know all them niggas is Slim Jims. Rest in peace to Nip and you know, but all the old school niggas. They was fascinated no, with weights. No, 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 no. For their yeah, first Christmas it. gift, some niggas got a weight set in the yard. Yeah, well, weight set in the yard. Well, a lot of us was athletes niggas, before we left. The them street. niggas was sick. All of us. All, all of us played athletes whack. for football. What position? I was wishbone quarterback, a, a wing tailback. You was wishbone. Yeah, we were on the bone. You, you want one of them niggas wishing to get in. No, my nigga. You know, the <laughs> fact. Put me in. <laughs> I told this nigga they don't know nothing about no football. Don't know that you know, you know, the I was wing tailback or wishbone quarterback. <laughs> which, your your which wishbone you quarter, your bone quarterback is really a, it's, it's a run offense. Yeah. So the fastest. No, he was good. You California got the best that. football players coming up out the hood? Or oh, Florida. Or Florida. California got all the best athletes. You know, we. I mean, you can't send them from Florida or Texas. Wait, let's get in. Hold on. Florida, Texas. Before we get California, to that. you can't take nothing from California. Let's you got all the next who sponsor. won the tights? We put out more. We put out more. Um, more athletes than anybody. Hold on. Let's right get to our next sponsor. Then we are gonna get right into that for fifteen dollars a month. Listen, Simply Safe will protect your home. Fifteen dollars a month. I'm telling my day. I'm telling you, you can set it up yourself. But uh, if you go to simplysafecom slash game, you'll get a free HD camera. I'm talking about a free HD camera. I'm talking about simplysafecom slash game. Fifteen dollars a month. Fifteen dollars a month to protect your home. Just imagine having a big guy like Big U standing there. What you doing? Why you looking in my window? <laughs> I'm security guy. I'm Day Day Uncle. I'm Big U. Simplysafe.com slash game. Fifteen dollars a month. Check them out. So you're saying Simply Safe is like having Big U and yeah, you just imagine. 
What is is, 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 is everything? Is cameras and all that stuff in there? So you get one of these? But I'm going to say this, though. Simply safe? I want to say something. Hold up. Simply say. Marion Suge Knight, right? Uh-huh. Legend. That, okay, legend, respectfully. Absolutely. Did he give you the game? Um, the introduction to the game, yeah. But he, did he he allowed you to be in the world up Definitely. close so you can understand the game? Definitely. Was he was he all that they say he is on the business side? Did he understand this music game? Well, <laughs> it all depends on what kind of business he was doing. I would say he got a he got a bad um <clears throat> rap for a lot of positive things. You know what I mean? Like you mm -hmm. may hear about vanilla ice or hear about this, hear about that. But what people not talking about is the little young black dude who produced Ice Ice Baby and was owed four million dollars. What they're not oh, talking explain, about explain is that, explain what they're not talking about is how he attempted to get his business done with Vanilla Ice and his team and they wouldn't do it. So he came to Shook for assistance. Shook first step was to have the attorneys contact him and figure it out. Mm -hmm. That didn't work. So he wrote this black guy wrote Ice Ice Baby. He did the beat. Yeah, the beat never the got beat, paid. Never got paid. Okay. And they was pretty much telling them, fuck you, fuck you, exactly. fuck you, fuck you. So at the end of the day, when Shug exhausted all of the means all of, of trying to communicate with this dude, you know, the right way, the only thing got it done was the wrong way, which made it right. So, you know, um, a lot of things he did. Mary J, she probably got a story or two to tell y'all. Suge Knight helped her contracts. Jodeci. Casey and JoJo, the Jodeci. Hammer. It's a, Hammer. It's a lot of people to where it's kind of like in school. So Suge was just hanging no, niggas out there. No, it's kind of no, like. No, no, no. no, 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 no those are the ones he, he helped get their money. No, he helped get their money because get money at the end of the day, he, he, he's trying to turn his way in this way and that way, this way, and they ducking and dodging. I mean, this man over here is owed $4 million, right? So at the end of the day, you know, it's a by any means necessary. Yeah. He started the right way. It just went the wrong way. Because you think about it, who who not going to sign a contract when they're hanging off their balcony? Yeah, but he, listen. If you slip. Yeah. If you but notice. Listen, but listen. Well, if you, if notice, you slip, you gon', your here shit going to crack. Oh, even the, after you sign the contract, right? like a melon. Even after you sign a contract when you're in that type of situation. If you know that contract was by force and it this, this contract is fraudulent, right? It's still something you're gonna go do about it after the fact. Right. You know the reason why he never pursued doing nothing about it because he know this man was old money. It should have been interest on the money, mm -hmm. right? So I would say that Shug got a lot of he got a lot of back. He helped he helped um, way more than people. Yeah, than yeah he he helped a whole lot of people. More. He helped turn thirty cents, yeah, an album to an artist to thirty percent. Yeah, who right. he do that with? No, he did with no, everybody. Real, he everybody. Changed he changed the, the pay scale the industry. of the industry. Yeah, he also opened the doors. to people saying, "Oh, what the fuck is that Universal or Interscope's doing? Death Row Records? Oh, who is that over there? Oh, they signing these independent labels that have these artists. He created that lane for us. Yeah, right. He did. He did all that. I can't take that from him. So, um, it's a lot of things he didn't do. But I mean, you know, that it's it's a you know, it's it's, it's give and take with this shit and draws no, cause we didn't been through a lot of oh, situations. So you call them draws. We look we didn't been through a lot of situations, right? So you call them draws. Draws, big you, we all call no, them. No, I'm saying, but you call them you do draws, call them draws. Big you, yeah. Well wait, he wait, knows. Wait, wait, one, one more question. See, it, I think it, you think wait, draws question. means one more question. It's underwear. Yeah. Yeah. One more question. He think draws. One more question. And you call him panties. No, he don't. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> he know better than that. No, we no, be no. squabbling outside. You said you said I thought it was all through the And I do have that video of y'all wrestling that ain't never came take out. It, that shit have come out on Wack 100 take Instagram page. You. Thank you. Man, that shit is fucked up. Fucking yeah. Oh, yes, it will. I got it. And what was thank you? I, I, I seen the no, tap out. I know your kids and shit is screaming. being all that. No, the fuck but, it you won't. know, I'm, I'm hey, just gonna leave that alone. But but back to Suge. But but when it came to Suge, it's you know, draws and Suge is they smile more than me and Suge. Right? You know, it's six months out of the year, it's love. The other six months is fuck you. Did you ever think you was crazy though? Cause he said you always I'm burnt the fuck out. Okay, from the yard from the from the yard? No, just out before that. Been our, our environment. What you mean? Okay. You, you, come on, y'all from Philly. You go to school, you watching killings and stabbings and prostitution and dope dealing. You get to school, you gotta fight. Come back, you gotta fight. Your your mama fucked up, your daddy smoking. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? The dog yeah. like like we all 
You know, we got to come outside and figure out, you know, we all is a little dysfunctional in our own little way, but I stay functional by being in tune with understanding, nigga, you know you's a fucked up individual. So when I start thinking fucked up, I'm in control of myself. He fucked up too. He just humble now. He's fucked up. So he's up. a humble fucked up. Not at all. No, listen. He's just, I think the Muslim faith saved him. <laughs> Sound like him, brother. Really, my slime. No, real shit. He Let me ask you a question. Off, off script. script. <laughs> off script. Yeah, yeah. Growing up on the East Coast, when we was in juvie and all that, we read books about this side. You know, outside of colors, we, the book that we had in jail was Monster Cody book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and we, a great book, a lot of lies, but great book. It was exaggerated. And, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait, nigga. What do you mean? Exaggerated how? It was a lot of it exaggerated. It how? Like, Monster Cody was a dope fiend. Crack. Wait, well, Monster Cody was a, hold on. Was they a, talk about Monster Cody like 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 how they speak on Big U. But then I'm gonna say this: you can't be a, a a dope fiend, right? That means you fell victim to the game, right? And still get the same credit and the same statute as somebody that didn't. You understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. So I'm not saying he wasn't a rider in his own in his own way. But, you know, shit, if any of us write a book, you know, we're going to make it seem a little more than what it really is because guess what? It's people on the East Coast that's going to read and y'all going to believe every motherfucking word you believe. Yeah. You read. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not take, saying that the nigga was some punk nigga, none of that, but they tried to make it look like when he walked in the motherfucking room, it was just silence and everybody was shaking in their boots. That nigga was some A-Trade gangster. That nigga had a notorious motherfucking set, an enemy, called the Rolling Sixties. And them niggas was feeding on each other. You know what I mean? Outside of everything else they didn't get along with. The whole hood's the car. What about the East Coasts? Know what I mean? You know, understand where you from. Right around the corner, nine O's. Anything with an owner, anything with a neighborhood on it was his enemy. So he wasn't, he damn sure wasn't walking in nothing, shutting shit down like that. Right. You know, that wasn't, I ain't taking nothing from, you know, I really read the book though. No, I read, it was a great book. The great book. He wrote three books. I only read one. Well, Monster Cody was the one that, that changed the game for people yeah. on the East Coast reading that shit in the yeah. joint. No, like I, that's remember I told you a couple years ago. Remember the book I, I only idea heard I had? people talk about it. Like he well, said, I, I had, uh, when you read Monster Cody, you remember the book happened. idea I had? I had a I had a book I idea where where the book is. I, I got it. Kind of got it from Dean Koontz. I know you read his book. Yeah, How to be two or three different stories going on and they all come together in the end. Mm -hmm. So I was telling uh, um, draws. We should do the same book. Like he start off the first two, three chapters, and then minds come in, and his come pick up from where it's at. And as you get to the end of the book, as it did in reality, it shit come together. Rest in peace to Big Tookie. Let me ask you a question: Big Tookie or Big You? As a what? Just in the, on the yard. Oh, Big You. He got the record: thirty-two knockouts, one ride. Over, over, big, mean, over, big. You see how big Tookie to, was man, on the pitches? I ain't taking nothing from him, but I mean. Wait, hold on, wait. You knocked 32 niggas out on one ride. It was a ride. It was 100 and. It was a document. 129. He uh, knocked 19 whites against 19 knocked, blacks. He ain't knocked no 30, 32. 32 oh, niggas dog. out on camera. <laughs> Whack, you hey, I got I'm him to sleep, Hey, look, dog. I'm a power rope, my nigga. I'm just going. Look, nigga, what's real? Whack, you had to put some bigger suit on that shit. You ain't putting that on that. Hey, no, listen. We went for eight minutes. Hey, listen, hold on. Let me tell you this. Listen, you We went for eight minutes. That's a long time on the yard. That's a long ride, my Hold on, hold on. So when you went down three times, three people got shot. So look, look, look. Let me paint another picture. Wait, hold on. So you talking so about a nigga over. that's probably you had thirty two niggas laid out. Oh, niggas getting up lighter. and getting down. You was all. Oh. It's all look, you talking about? Listen, you listen, down. Listen. You talking about somebody? Let me paint another picture. Dog, that that's probably shade, eighty or ninety pounds lighter, fifth yeah. degree black belt, with a Not street squabble. Was who was with you? How many? How many people soldiers was with it you? Was nine, it was only nineteen blacks all together. It was nine blacks for war with the Mexicans. How many Mexicans? Mexicans and whites? It was 129, 129 Mexican whites on the yard. Damn. Hey, oh, wait, no, wait, we wait, got wait, out. Wait, Niggas wait, got out. 129 No, you ain't put no fucking work in. You wasn't there. You, you wasn't any motherfucking right. I'd have been places with him. Me and him pulling up. He in my car. Soon as he get away from me, hey, cuz, what they tell you? Fuck you doing with cuz? <laughs> cuz be on the yard tripping. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was one of them situations where everything you hit, yeah. 
Every punch you threw, every kick I threw, it was one of them situations. Like, we Google. hitting, we wait, hitting wait, eight, wait, nine, wait, ten quarters. Wait, 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 wait. wait we back arming three hundred pounds. But let niggas me, is in that mother. Nigga, roll out the bed and do no, five to push up. Let me get this picture like, right, though, Wack. Huh? So you mean to tell me? Oh, he got that. Big U, Eugene Henley. Given the situation, Hold I'm on. gonna go to Hold I mean, on. when I couldn't do it today. In the yard. In the yard. Two sixty. Two sixty? No, I was uh, two thirty. Two thirty something. Okay, two thirty or something, right? Jerry curl dripping. No Jerry curl. <laughs> <laughs> Little do curl. No Jerry. That was in Minnesota. What, 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 what you had back there? What kind of cut? Right here. Damn, you shit had. You had already had that the activator fried his head. <laughs> killed his <laughs> killed his roots. You had already had the convertible. Sure. And you just in the yard just. Well, now Everything. you know what, but you know what, but then you Everything. gotta mix the street fighting in with that too. You, you gotta yeah. mix the straight, the, the initial no takeoff. No exaggeration. They came to me the next day with the tape and showed us. The, no, they came to us. You was in the hole. Fifteen days. No, nah, we was all on lock. They locked the yard back down because it was too many of us to send to the hole. So they only took the people that went to the hole was the ones who actually had puncture wounds, injuries, cuts, and shit injuries. Like that. Those only ones go to, straight to the hole. Everybody else get locked down. Everybody on the yard gonna get locked down. So they can separate who else. Then they go with the FI cards. I mean, then they go with the uh, schismatic to see where they picked you up. They picked how many knives was what? close to you? Was any, how many knives close to you? So that's how they do it. They they try to freeze the yard. So when the yard first go down, we get into the first altercation. We, we demo one. And then they get the best of us on this side. So then the police come. They're hitting the thing. They're shooting. So they stop. The yard stop. Then they take off again. Yeah, we get back then, up. And then it's going again. And they start shooting again. So one or two people get shot. Now we all regrouping. Everybody looking to find out. Then we going again. <laughs> so now this shit go on for maybe. That's a long time. Eight minutes. 15 a long time. minutes. A long time. In between is eight minutes of all action. It's going all out. So now by the time it's, 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 it's like the last wave, we got the advantage now. Because now we didn't. They seeing like really only 10 or 15 of us is going. And then Hold. by that time, by right. that time, niggas ain't got in the same huddle. Yeah, yeah. and this was just the sixties. So what this is all the black? Nah, this was on, it was on, I was the only person. And now we're right there. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Well, well, why why jump off thing. like that? I could tell you one thing that y'all two had. One, in common. Hey, I'm hitting hard as a motherfucker. Hold on, he hard. Hold on. I, I could tell you one band. thing that y'all two had in common. That low didn't what? Shit, I was on the. I was in the yard. You the trustee? No, he had a motto. He had a what? He had his motto. When motto. shit get to popping, I get locked in. <laughs> no, no, this what happened. See, when the joint jumped off on the east side, right? What the, Listen, the this what happened. This, this what happened. This what happened. This what happened. So he was locking it up? No, 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 it got to pop. You was pulling a little evil. I got a nigga from my neighborhood named Little Evil. Look, this nigga named Little Evil. His name is Kasashi. Real fuck boy, nigga. So the homie told he kill a motherfucker, stab a nigga when he's 16, right? So he go to jail, right? They knock his teeth out of his mouth, some shit in TS or whatever. So he stop gangbanging, turn Muslim. That's cool. I know a lot of Muslim that's crazy. So that's the thing. It, 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 that's hold some on. buster shit. Wait, 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 no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hold on, wait, wait. So is that the thing in LA where Nick's want to stop gangbanging? They turn <laughs> they Muslim. They turn Muslim a Christian. He turned Muslim, Muslim, but he was still no, 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 no. We got I a lot of homies on the street. No, we got a lot of no. I was born a Muslim. We got a lot of homies that's Muslims. They still bloods, cribs apart, whatever, and that's cool. But when you how you come in is what you supposed to come out, right? Right. So if you. Well, no, this, that's not. You supposed to go no, in. No, no, this is what I can't respect. If you turn Muslim, right? <laughs> you ain't supposed to go in crazy. If come you out turn crazy. Muslim, <laughs> right. And you do your time twenty some years. Now he remember, took him out of now remember, <laughs> he got something on his chest. Now remember, he crazy. When the Bloods is going at it, right? This nigga saying, "I'm a Muslim." He put in a wallow, lock it up. Whoa, don't yeah. fuck even yeah, that. He just get popping. No, this way. So you listen, you go farther. So he do twenty six years, and then the then he gets out. And he come to the neighborhood, right? The first thing he do, he go to Domino's Pizza and invest in the pepperoni pizza. <laughs> right? He take one body that? to pepperoni you know pizza. Boom. Now it's what's up, blood? This Pyro again. Right? This type of shit. But then he doing weird shit with his feet and seashells and weird shit. So he don't know <laughs> if he, assalamu alaikum, if he a homie. Hey man, listen, it's just real shit. Y'all please stop here. 
<laughs> no, I'm just saying. Why hey, he's saying the real shit right there. It's real shit. Y'all don't catch you what do. doing, man. He, he owns somebody here, man. No, I love but it. this is real sh- Bro, bro, <laughs> if you go <laughs> in oh, this way, is Hold on, don't do that. Alone, That's the board of in Texas. Don't do that. No, this is real alone. shit. Leave him alone. Leave if you go in and turn Christian and you parole a Christian, I'm going to fuck with you. I'm going to be like, you changed your life around. Who we talking about, though? He talking about the board. Listen, man, come on, man. The brother that texts you and you return his text. Leave him the fuck alone. No, but this, no, this is a problem. He was in the joint. He played on the problem. Who was the problem? Brother, what's his name? This weird nigga. His nigga name is Kasashi. They call him <laughs> Lil <laughs> Evil. Not, he got Lil told Lil on by a nigga in Vegas. Went to Vegas for his first time in his life. Didn't do nothing but gamble, right? On some real shit. He went in a homie, turned Muslim, stopped banging, locked it up when the homies went to, got into shit. And then when he paroled, the nigga went to Domino's Pizza and invested in a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> took a body of that pork. He lied on it. All of a sudden, he paroled. He, he, he lied on it. He lied on it. He lied. He didn't need no pork. He, he well, no, was Muslim and Christian. Listen, he, li- listen he lying on me. Let me explain some church on Sundays. Let me explain So he texts me, I don't respond. You know why I don't respond? Go ahead. Because me and you don't have no conversation. I personally don't fuck with anybody who laid the flag down like that. You get out, try to pick it back up. I'm not going to fuck with you. Because that tell me you were scared as a motherfucker. You manipulate. You know, a homie might have needed you. You might could have saved a homie life and a ride or some shit. Anything could have happened. So if you, you went in that way and changed that way, that's cool. Come home that way. But don't get out and involve yourself in them politics. I'm going to tell you what happened. When, when the shit jumped off on the fucking yard, I get in my stance. Yeah, I go to I go to bust a move, motherfucking guard tackle. You get all that, like yeah, they fucking guard they tackle, tackle me. so you couldn't. By get the time out. I'm like, damn it, the whole two guards tackle me. I'm in a hole. I'm locked up. I'm looking out the yard. I'm first like these. Right. Ni- so you got locked up and running a football first of all, club. First of all, no, first, I was first of all, ready, what? I was ready. First of all, what? Yo, I was ready to get busy. I get I get a story right. <laughs> While over the yard, right? <laughs> <laughs> nigga called me from from up there. Yo, your cousin over the yard, man. Nigga crazy, man. A nigga. On the yard, he looking over there towards Wallow with them. So Wallow, the only nigga that's really on alarm. What the fuck is this nigga keep looking over there for? Blah, 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 blah. So niggas start walking over there. In the midst of the walking over there, <laughs> nigga pulled a sword out. Oh, st- Wallow? No, no, listen. No. They start running, right? <laughs> <That's what you're> <laughs> <laughs> this nigga takes Like some off. He-Man shit, Thundercats. Listen, this nigga takes <laughs> off. He starts screaming <laughs> like a white woman in a scary movie, right? Whole time, the nigga running up to stab the nigga standing behind him. No, this what happened. This what happened. The yeah. nigga, listen, uh, he 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 keeps messing it up. He he was coming towards uh, my way, my direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was already stretching to take a run. <laughs> I was right. No, I was. You were stretching to run. I was ready to run. So, so you just happened so the way, to take the way that they identified it and reported it was that a nigga was chasing me to yard with a knife. <laughs> For no reason. This a old. This was an older cat. That's that Kisashi shit. No, but this an older cat. This an older cat. I think you niggas man, was pin pounds. <laughs> I think it was pin pounds, my hey, nigga. Hey, man, look, man. Real so, shit. Let me ask y'all another question, because all y'all three, y'all been like. Nigga wears seashells. He like, we got a foot fetish. You want to keep you shit. Keep nigga got a foot you, fetish. How you know he got a foot fetish? Man, man, listen, why you keep looking at his man. foot? Listen, no. His feet. Nigga, somebody told the nigga war. got a foot fetish. Some weird shit. The fuck that be? The nigga told the motherfucker. POW, The nigga told the motherfucker. He rub on Okay, in the prison? Yeah, when I was in prison, I was a prisoner of war. You was a prisoner of war. Yes, sir. You did the fucking crime. That they did. <laughs> Thank you. God damn it. What the fuck is he talking about? The fuck are you talking about? You. What do you mean? So you was, was in prison for no reason? Did you get caught? I was in prison. <laughs> I, I was working for my people. You was working? <laughs> what the fuck? You <laughs> said. <laughs> Modern day Robin hey, Hood. Hey, Listen, hey, hey. you know what? I'm not going to even say nothing because I can't. You was really working for your people, right? Yes, I was. Okay, so yeah. trunks and all that type so, of shit. So, all so, that was incorporated. I was pushing that, the agenda. Agenda. So your yeah. agenda involved was clean the neighborhood. trunks and rope. So I was I was bagging my my victims. Closets. Yeah, I was bagging Closets. my Dark places. <laughs> I was bagging my victims. Now what this? Was they this was act stuff. happening against your people they was doing or for stuff. your people? I was helping my people to advance. So, so Wack, you went huh. in at 16? Oh, uh, the last time, yeah. Okay. I was a solid Did you 16. go in as a youth? No, I just, no. I okay. did time. I, was, I mean, no. I was, but I mean, I started doing time like 11 years because, old. Because, okay, because Wilo went in at 17. Okay. And he said, you know, he. he that he, was his he, first time going to jail, 17? No, no, no he I've been in jail you, my whole life. He, 11 went in, years he got old, 11 and then 13. Five years and then juvenile, 15, 20 years in penitentiary. Then, yeah, so, but then when he went to the big house mm-hmm. at 17, that was something new to him. You feel what I'm saying? And 
you know back y'all don't then, have youth authority out there no he no, got, no, a thing he got out certified called youth authority no, that's he got certified like, as an adult he went right you in know, with that's the, like that's that's like pre-training for prison no 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 that's what no no you know, know what I'm saying? no he went right in he they cert sometimes they certify you as an adult and you go right in with the you feel what i'm saying no they did me like that so when he went up there, he didn't really know the ways of prison. He knew the ways of the juvenile. Yeah, that's and you know, back man. then, that was back in the, you know, See, old we got years. something between juvenile and prison called California Youth Authority, yeah. which is a state. Like, even when you get out 14, 15, 16, you on parole. So that whole shit, we pretty much and running and operating it. But, so I'm, you only but hold on, hold on. Let me get to my point. Let me get to my get point. Why you shit reversed? Because you ain't got no adult felonies. No, I, I just put in for my uh, expungement. Yeah, yeah I just so, put like, so, you know, Wallo explained on a pr prior podcast that, you know, when he went to jail, he was 17, he didn't know, you know, and, you know, he was up there with some old heads that were showing him the ropes, you know, one old head was teaching him how to box and shit, but the whole time, you know, back then, old heads used to, you know, get their dicks off the shelf viciously. Get their what? <laughs> they used to take their dicks off the shelf viciously what in does jail. What that mean? What is that? <laughs> they used to, you know, what I don't know. And, and, I don't know. What does that and, mean? And penitentiary. What does that mean? And, 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 what? He was at Dallas, the Pink Palace, where they raped niggas on the norm. Oh, yeah. And back, oh, and, and back then, it was an old head who taught niggas how to box who was trying to finesse him and undress him. And oh, he didn't my. know. So you mean he was behind him showing him how to throw the jazz? <laughs> no, he wasn't right, right. behind me. He wasn't behind me. He lying on me. <laughs> he, hey, he definitely was behind So he was what, I'm is, what, I'm is, hey, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, he lying on me. Look. Come in tight. <laughs> <laughs> Twist his face. He lying on me, man. What the lying on fuck me? Is no, going no, on. So I know you that. wanted as a youth. Ain't no old heads ever try to finesse you. No, hell, you about the time I hit the penitentiary. Matter of fact, it's crazy because one of his homeboys tried to finesse you. Trying to slide. No, one of his homeboys looked out for me. Damn, man. Why <laughs> we had a cold with him. I went from, uh, we went from Delano. We no order, man. We went from Delano to, to uh, no, no, no. We No, they picked me up from Juvenile Hall and went to Delano, which is intake. And um, he had a homeboy, um, Big Fish, rest in peace. Yeah, and um, when I get to the holding tank, I'm the only blood on the bus, right? So when you get up- Well, you scared, tell the truth. No, nah, hell no. I'm, I'm, I'm a Y baby. So we firecrackers. You just got to fuck us up. We firecrackers. So you went I to jail. Like, I didn't so, go okay, from no. juvenile hall to this setting. We, our mentality in- well, bro, why, bro, why is like a junior- Yeah, prison. our mentality was like, nigga, I can't wait to hit the yard. We in there buffering work. I can't wait to hit. You. That's our mentality, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's it's like a junior penitentiary. Yeah. So when I went in there, niggas was like, nigga, where you from? Where you? Everybody, where, where? it was a roll call. Crypt this, crypt that, crypt this, crypt that. Whoa, whoa, nigga, pile rope. And then the whole saying, oh, we got us one, right? By they that time, the fuck out. No, you, I stood up. Well, oh, we got us one. Man. That means they, we, we got, got us one. one, nigga. Fuck you, mean? I'm the eyeball in the tank. Fuck wrong with you? We just said crypt, 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 crypt. When I stand crip, up, oh, right? we got us one. Like two, three niggas. Where he at? Like two, three niggas jump up, <laughs> and then his whole boy. <laughs> I didn't know him. I didn't know him, but he could tell I was young. I ain't got no goatee. I mean, got a little mud. I'm 16 years old, right? Right. Nigga jumped up and said, nah, nigga on six old, nigga claimed his set, nigga. Head up or nothing, nigga. Just like that. Like, and niggas was scared of this nigga, I guess, because he didn't say nothing the whole bus trip. But I guess this nigga's a penitentiary legend by this time. <laughs> in and is. out. But who said that? Big Fish. Big Fish. Yeah, Big Fish. Fish. I made and calls it was like crazy because years too. later, when I'm talking, I guess Fisher just came home not too long before he passed. Yeah. Like, he came up. He called me, right? But and if we end up catching the chain of solid dad together. Yeah, Let me ask so, you a question though. Did you ever look that. out for Big Fish for saving you out that ass whooping? Well, Fish passed before I can see him. Mm. Yeah, you, died, it's safe to say you was gonna take an ass whooping. He, got, he, 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 he oh, only no, was a home about six sure. months. Like, he got about six months that he got. It was home. like it was like eight or nine of them. It was just yeah, so be it was safe to you say. You know, you know the rule of thumb is try to punish the first two. Absolutely. As long as you squabble up and don't ball up is what it is. Absolutely. And then remember who it was uh -huh. and when you run into them niggas one by one, you get to That's it. the key, baby. Hey, <laughs> That's hey, it. hey let's get into our next sponsor, man. Let's get into or our next sponsor, Or knock 32 of them out at once. <laughs> one thing about oh, this. He's gonna keep swinging. <laughs> if, if you out there and you got an e-commerce, you're doing anything, use what I use, ShipStation.com. Listen, you get free 60 days when you use code GAME on ShipStation.com. Dot com. One thing about ShipStation, got one interface. I don't care if you're on Amazon. I don't care if you're on ST, your own website. ShipStation bring everything into one interface. I'm talking about UPS. I'm talking about some FedEx. Whatever you use, United States Postal Service, go to ShipStation.com. They'll take care of everything for you. Once again, you're at free 60 days when you use the code game, ShipStation.com. Now, hold on. Let, let's get into this, right? Because I know, Wack, do you fuck with real estate? Heavy. 
Heavy. Been doing real estate probably since about 2000. Yeah. Last Tony, 20 years. I know y'all yeah. fuck with real estate. Both this my sides man. of This is my guy right here, Tony, to close. And Both he's sides. He's heavy, heavy in the real estate. And he's heavy in teaching the real estate. Both sides and, of it, though. And, Commercial, yeah. um, from the from the credit repair. Tone, hold the up. mic up, Tone. So residential and, and yeah, commercial. Both up, but, yeah. yeah. Both so up. that's what I do. I do uh really I've been getting a lot of people in the game with wholesaling. I don't know if you're familiar with wholesaling. That's on the uh single family side, right? Residential. Basically putting people in the position to start without no money. A lot of times people get in the real estate game, they think you gotta have either a real estate license or a lot of cash up front. But I'm teaching people a strategy basically where you buying uh you buying basically the properties using the contract and then selling the contract to a cash investor on the back end. So you basically middleman it. And that's been a, it's been a big plug for notes. people. Selling the, selling the paperwork, selling the contract essentially. So I get the contract from a homeowner <clears throat> and then sell the contract to a buyer. Mm -hmm. we, you know, just basically in real estate. Your you game got, is to know people like us. Correct. That want to buy the real estate. Yeah. Connecting the dots, that's the whole game. But see, I'm gonna cut you out because you costing me money. Nah, so I'm, what I did, my, my I joint cheap. Selling, <laughs> I sent my wife to school to get her real estate uh, license. On the flip side, I got a um, my 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 finance guy, uh, Travis uh, Wilson, right? He handles A to Z, whether it's fucked, whether we gotta fix the credit, whether it's paperwork, whatever gotta happen, it gotta happen. So, like right now, I got a, a, a two million dollar home. So I send my wife in to represent the buyer and the seller, and then we do the finance side, which is three points there, it's three points on the other side, and then then that, that that's how I've been working it. So I can help you out with something. So. It's good that you got, you know, the people that can help you save the money on actually buying and selling the real estate. But the hardest part for most people is what? Finding the real estate itself, those off market properties. So I go yeah, get yeah, yeah. I go get I go I specialize in actually finding those deals, those discounted deals that people might go be going through foreclosure, whatever, because once you got the the property, yeah, then you can do your part. Yeah, I'm seeing it before people no, touch it. Great, so I'm getting what region, just east coast. Wherever you need that. Oh, yeah, that's we all over the country. We all over the country with it. Yeah, we yep. got everywhere. Yep. yep. Everywhere, oh, and that's the, so the whole. I mean, well, I get the list too, though. So, right, you know, I can track the list. It just be daunting tracking it. I get the list to my phone. I get let me, the list. Let me tell you, I put you on game. So, I got a website called www.closersdata.com. C L O S E R S D A T A data. So, closersdata.com. Right on there, you get all the pre foreclosure tax liens, uh, all the MLS you call listings. Them, you contact them. So basically, you know how sometimes His you wife have to go jump to. Right the, on uh, yeah, that, that's gonna be yeah. It's gonna it's gonna save you a lot of headaches. So you know, a lot of times you got to go and look for the courthouse or whatever to find access mm -hmm. to the data. Break so the my, up, my, my 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 website basically push you right where you can get data for from all over the country. So all over Cali, wherever you at, mm -hmm. now you got access to to real live data of foreclosures, uh, tax liens, uh, uh, just high equity leads, senior listings. Right now, a lot of old people with the COVID passing away. This is how I'm getting a lot of people right now that can make money because they're getting these properties cheap because when people are passing away, the kids and everybody don't want to take care of this house. They can't, they don't, they, don't know, they don't have the money or the means to be able to manage it. So we go buy those properties and then I sell them to people like you. They got the bread. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that's the, that's that's the game. Yeah, we definitely can talk because I just bought some, I just bought some I'm, stuff. I just heard somebody do something in Georgia that I was, I've been thinking about. We talked about this a few years the acres. Ago. Yeah, they brought some acres and kind of built their own community. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Right? And I was, you know, I've been really thinking about They're going up like that in Detroit real hard too. Yeah, and the reason why I was thinking about it, because you know, it's other places outside, even right here in California, like a lot of our people going to Arizona, a lot of our people going to Nevada, right, mm -hmm. to where- um, They going in Atlanta too. It's yeah, a lot, we uh, Vegas is going crazy going, right now. They only did like 90 acres though. Mm -hmm. We need to go get like 500,000 acres. And we can do that up. too, especially if we do it like there by Atlanta. We just got to work in that area and build it up where it's just all black businesses, black community, black real estate. You know what I'm saying? Let See, me ask you a question. Take it off of there for a minute. <coughs> Blueface. I'm, I'm green face. I come to you. How you going to take me to that next level? I'm an artist. Well, what's, the, know, what's the game? It's, Give it's, us, get the person that's listening to the game. What, what I pride myself in doing, because I learned, is a lot of these labels, they want you to already be gone, have a following, a couple hundred thousand followers, you know, a couple million streams and stuff like that. Um, what I've done is tapped into what they know how to do. If you got a music, 
and I really not the one to pick the music. My daughter's my real A and R, keeping it real. I, you send me something because a lot of shit we like, it ain't it ain't what it is, right? You know, Gilly know, you know it, it's it's a lot of gimmicky stuff, and and then unlike our era where the same sound might be around three, four, five years, this shit changing every quarter, every four to six months. It's a total different sound, a total different thing. So what I do, the music comes to me. I send it to my daughter. She had thumbs up and thumbs down. I bring them to the studio. See, they work ethic. It's like three dudes back there just been here a month. I don't put them on no paperwork. I bring them in, let them work amongst everybody. If they're comfortable, this is where they want to be. Then I do the paperwork with them. But all I need is like, I, I kind of require three records. If it's one that's a smash, and I can go with it. But at the, from that point in time, it's just all the setup and the marketing. Absolutely. You know what I mean? You got to have five, six videos done, have an EP done. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Put that up. <clears throat> um, and it's the marketing. It's, it's, it's your YouTube. and it's your, Radio's like a number four or five position. Mm-hmm. Radio is Break dead. it down. Break yeah, your position like down. TikTok is really number one. Mm-hmm. Old Time Road broke on TikTok. Mm-hmm. We didn't pick that up on radio. TikTok broke so that. TikTok. TikTok is number one. All right, mm-hmm. what else? Yeah, right? From there, sure, your streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple, Things like mm-hmm. that, right? Okay, after that is YouTube, right? Then comes radio. So this is how it works. They do a 15, 20 second TikTok dance to your song, right? After it starts to move and go viral, then they say, well, I want to hear the whole song. They go to Spotify or Apple. They stream it. They listen to it. Oh, I like the song. I want to watch the video. Then they go to YouTube. Radio is watching the numbers from YouTube Spotify, Apple, and TikTok, and then that's dictating what they put into rotation. Mm-hmm. Who paying the most out of all them platforms? Um, Apple, Jay Z. No, they don't even pay. No, them niggas don't pay. Mm. Title mm. ain't paying, nigga. When they stop, nigga, they ain't started. Mm. No, that's why you don't see a lot of. You never see a motherfucker really posting or pushing title. You know what I'm saying? And remember, I can't put that on Jay-Z. He's just the face of that shit. Let's just mm-hmm. be real. He ain't in there with the inner workings. But um, who paid Spotify most, pays $4,500 per million. Um, YouTube, YouTube, depending on what it is, could pay between $1,600 and $2,500 per million, right? I think Apple pays like $6,200 per million, right? So, and then you would say, well, God damn, that really ain't no money because we came from Selling the CD for $12.99, $13.99 to a digital download to where a single was $1.29.90 after Apple got theirs, right? So that means a million digital downloads was $900,000 mm-hmm. before you and the label cut it up, right? Mm-hmm. Now a million streams is $4,500, right? Mm-hmm. Ain't no money in it, really. No, it's definitely a lot of money in it. Only way, it, break it down. Why well, it's a lot let of money. Break it down, you. You know, no, I'm no, talking about in the no, streaming. There's no, it's, it a, it's a lot of money in the streaming. Let, let me break no, this shit down. It's a lot of money. I'm gonna tell you why. Because we kill the packing and shipping costs, mm-hmm. right? We don't have the CD and the mm-hmm. cover and the label and shipping mm-hmm. costs. You know, we don't have the buyback costs. Mm-mm. Remember, you ship no, two hundred thousand. No, no, you only no, sell a hundred thousand. You got to buy back. That's a cost that the new kids never knew about. No, no, no. It's not even It's not even calculated. No, but I'm saying this is this is cost. You don't have now. Here goes a here goes something. Here goes something you, know. you got to remember. Streaming, unlike our albums, they may ship two hundred thousand, right? Once they ship them, right, and they selling, and they sell, they ship another one. It's gonna get to a point to where you only got two, three thousand going here, here, there because the album's over with. That motherfucking stream don't never stop. That bitch don't never run out. Yeah, but two, of a hundred million streams, of a hundred million streams, you're gonna get. That's a lot. That's like four point five million. No, two. What? Hundred million streams. No, you get. bullshit. That's a simple math. Like two. What you mean? After all you gotta do is, is go. Done, you gonna see all you gotta like do two, is go. We get a split of that with the What I'm you. telling you is, no. What I'm saying to you is, the way these kids come in now and cap and, and calculate the money, it ain't no money in their head. Jeez. Because if you're not doing a hundred million. And you're not doing numbers like that in your stream. You're not doing. I know artists doing, and in their first year how much get, made, what, what, get what, made 10, 12 million dollars. Look how long it take them to do it, though. Look how long it take a nigga, nigga to do 100 million streams if you're not a top you artist. A hundred, you're not, because, because how many of your artists do know streams are all calculated together? I know that. How many of your artists did more than that 
other than Blueface? I mean, Blueface is the only one I work it's through True Car. Let's have this. What game just stream? Game's not a streaming artist. Okay, he's but a, this is my point. That's the point artist. I'm trying to no, no. Okay, now Jay-Z's now, now, now not a streaming stay, artist. Stay, well, not, let's go where I'm you at. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now we're gonna Nas talk about what that shit ain't no music they, in there. They the money ain't there like motherfuckers think it is. No, it's not there. It's the money not like there. money not there like it. It's a difference between a streaming artist, like he said, and then there's artists who who come out and they sell push copies. It's only very few motherfuckers that stream. That's like why right I don't now. sell them no more. Who 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 who's selling? Who who's streaming? Like who's streaming like this nigga? Uh, Tiger, right? Tiger Niggas don't understand. Little baby is, is no little baby, baby not number sold one though. He not sold that. Little baby, young boy. What's little baby? NBA young NBA boy. NBA young boy. Mm-hmm. The young boy but the thing is, YouTube. them niggas is the, Uzi. them niggas is the new generation. Uzi. Them niggas are new generation of music music movers. Everybody else coming up, nigga. You talking about? You got to do like 30, 40... And a hundred thousand streams to really see some money. Oh, hold up! I gotta, I gotta ask Wax. What do you something. mean? Where you gonna see some money at? Other than that, touring is the only way you gonna get it. Touring, merchandise, and all that. Well, you gotta understand what your streaming come pub. You can't factor that out. The pub is last, bro. I mean, it's gonna oh, do that pub. Happen at the same time. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do it. Streaming checks, pub. No, no. Look, whether you do a pub deal or not, a pub checks come two three hundred thousand at a time mm-hmm. yeah that's true that but you know you got you know what I'm saying? streaming checks come the same you know what i mean a nigga do one song what about it and it's coming on like you just said but it doesn't nigga, come and go with the stream because they're constantly back on the mic look listen i'm gonna pull this i'm gonna show you something right okay what i'm telling you look, is these niggas get caught in these delusions of grand these niggas be doing remix, music for right? 30 years 30 Blue years, nigga, look, shit, trying right? again, your ass going to be stuck. He just remixed this shit. It's been like 10 days. 8.7 million. It's telling me right now, real time, at 9 o'clock our time, 2,000 people listening to this motherfucker. Right, and it's continuous. What, what app is that? I need to get that. No, bro, but you no, talking bro, about Blueface. No, I'm just you talking about. You. No, I'm showing you the stream, see? Right now, no, will no, nobody no, be no, buying no. a CD because Best what, Buy he, be he closed. Don't get what you talking about. Right? He right. don't get what you asking him. You right. talking to him because... You saying there's you no talk- money in streaming. No, 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 no. Listen, he talking to you. He talking to you for the people that's listening. Yeah. And he's asking you to talk to the people there's about definitely- how the music business work. It's music no, 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 and I That's broke, what he's no, talking to you no, about. No, listen, listen. And I broke, it, I broke it down to them. No, it's money and streaming for the successful artists. Mm. These other niggas coming to the business where Wilder was action. Well, yeah. For people well, that's coming well, in, yeah, like, nigga, you, you got to understand this work and this shit. Well, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Are you can say one work. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, but what you got to understand, too, from, but I understand both of y'all sides. No, from, we're on from, the same no, no, side. No, no, but listen, listen. Wack is saying... If you coming from an artist standpoint and you do this and you do this and you do this and you do this, then you can Set achieve this. Up. You coming from the standpoint of if you motherfucking little boo boo from the hood Nigga, and you, and you no not dollar. right and you not one of these niggas who able to go holla at Spotify, YouTube. Well, stop. It, it, That's why TikTok's important. Right. I can pull a song up right now. He ain't never heard. And this nigga got about 30 or 40 million streams in the last couple of weeks. I got weeks. TikTok on both because my of, phone. Look, I tell every artist, go with TikTok, get the streaming, go Listen, with all that. Uh-huh. I know exactly dude, what he's talking about. Look, this little dude. But you got to name Who Heem. Nobody never heard of him, right? Because who is Heem? TikTok, <laughs> within 30 days, this nigga has 4.7 million monthly followers, right? <laughs> what app Listen, is you using to see Listen, all this shit? And he got 33 million on that one song that they're TikToking on. Uh-huh. Now, watch so this. So you can look at it on TikTok. Now, let's watch this. So, you can look on TikTok so to see kid, the top song. He from Riverside. My daughter did the same thing. Tell me who hot. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. From tick, ain't no, ain't nobody, ain't no radio, ain't no nothing. The nigga just shot a video like right. a week ago. Right? He calling right. us because he wants us to do the remix, right? right? So what I'm saying is TikTok, because everybody doing it on TikTok. TikTok went to, oh, I want to hear the whole song because they only listen to 15, 20 seconds. Absolutely. We sent them there. Oh, they like the song? Absolutely. They share it. I've been, I just see my daughter on Zoom calls with 30 of them mm-hmm. and they all sharing songs. Mm-hmm. Those are streams. Right. Let me ask you a question. Why did you explain to me and explain to the listener because you just threw something out there. I don't want you to just throw it out there and, and 
What? Be misleading people. I don't know how it go when you just shot down title like that. Why can you, could you back up what you're saying? Them niggas don't send us our checks. <laughs> How much money they owe? What you, you saying? I guess they owe you money? That's back it up. They pay down there like sixty eight hundred, <laughs> down there seven thousand. So you know you put your shit over there because it's like it ain't gonna hurt to put it over there. But nigga, you down there got to go to court to get your motherfucking money, man. Title don't pay. Mm. You don't remember when I saw you in Philly? I ain't remember we was talking to Made in America back there. You don't remember the title reps was going to people, even Cardi. And motherfuckers was walking away from them because they don't pay. Mm. I was Apple with you. Apple pay, Spotify pay, YouTube pay. Man, title don't, don't be one to no Hey, you, you know who else pay? Barstool. No, no, I just went to that. I'll take that. that yeah, was but cheap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I'm not saying don't put your music over there. I'm just saying, you know, um, really, it's more traffic through Spotify. Apple pays more than Spotify, yeah. but because like I can pick my phone up and go do research on artists, like if, like I can read like you t- artists tell me his name, and I'll go right on there while he telling me how hot he is. Ooh. Like yesterday, I can go on here and see what I've been researching. Are like you telling me how hot you are? I'm just gonna pull you up, right? And I'm gonna show y'all how hot you what, are. What you, you what, what what do you use to pull people up on? Like this dude, dude right here. Um, well, what what is you he don't want to give us the app? This Spotify. nigga. Oh, that's Spotify. Oh. There's a little dude right here. They told me from Bounty Hunters. Uh, I think he signed to YG. Never heard of him. They did a song called like Blood Walk or something. So I never heard of him. So I don't pass judgment on if I like the song or not. Because that really doesn't matter today. You see, right. if the people I like pull it. I the numbers out, pull them up. This motherfucker got 786,000 monthly listeners. He got a song on here that's 83,000. 223, 30,000, 19,000, that's and 1.4 million, which is the YG Lil Wayne. So that shows me he has a fan base. Mm-hmm. Now you just got to feed it and put that machine behind it, mm-hmm. which is always a machine, either when it came to radio. How much money do you need to break an artist, make him a number one? Me personally, breaking an artist, you probably going to spend about. How much money you put in the blue face? Two million. No, how much money for real artist. you put in the blue face? Nah, well, video. Well, he had a cold minute video. Going, no, but he, he had the fuck he wasn't. He was he going, was but going. nigga, I don't get it fucked up. Tatiana was out seven months before I touched it. That's what it takes. That shit was out. No, no. That was out in May. I didn't touch it till November. I didn't sign a nigga till August. Mm-hmm. I touched it oh, in Oh, because you had what's the name for Savvy Third. I touched it in November. So he was going and moving and doing his Then he had a work thing. ethic too, though. Like a lot of these kids. Oh don't no, have he definitely that. had a work ethic. <laughs> That nigga was going around doing schools and shit like that. A lot like of these kids don't have that. A lot of mothers don't have that. And that's what's missing. I'm going to be real. If, you, if you in the streets, give you, if you in the streets, if you had a good 75 to 100,000, you can get an artist to where they need to be where you're going to get that back and a whole lot more because the label won't want to Were you putting the 75 No, out? see, that's not 75, true. 75,000. That's not true. Hundred. No, no, that's not go. true. Oh, 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 oh. That's the truth. That's oh, not true. Where you going at? Let him figure out where he going that at. That ain't true. No, no, no. I ain't going to let you that. I'm tell you what. I'm going to tell you why. Because he, now, now, he, I let him talk 55 minutes. I'm going to tell you what, why that's not true. Because, see, he talking to motherfuckers, and he talking, he not explaining. It's a lot more to that 75. Because see, he, he missing what you asking. He not you realize you talking to a public. So you got another motherfucker in Timberloo, Mississippi, thinking he could take seventy five thousand do a whack deal. No, seventy five thousand means you got to be whack one hundred. You got to be big you, and you got to be gilly. Because mm-hmm. whack gonna get with seventy five thousand that a lot of niggas not gonna get. What he can We're do is talk about artists. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Let me finish. Oh, We're not talking, talking about that. You're right. You're right. Because you told me that. To the kids, you told me that. We're talking about now. working the system. Now, I'm not but talking about can... features. No, we talking no, about. No, we talking about. Right. We talking right, about. Though, right. We talking right. about. We talking about a system now. When when you talking about, first of all, you got niggas who can monopolize a situation, where he can monopolize situations. I can monopolize situations. You can monopolize situations. I don't need no money to get my, my kids to come do an interview on Gilly's on Gilly show. Right. You understand what I'm saying? He don't need no money. No, that ain't what I'm talking about. But what I'm saying though, if you tell them motherfucker they only need seventy five thousand to a hundred thousand, when I don't watch niggas go spend a million dollars and I and they and do everything where, that you do, but they ain't you. Spent it where though? 
Where you want me to spin it at? Make a, give a whole chart list on what I'm a nigga. spinning in the right place. All right, tell us where to spin it at. Right now, where where tell me right now. Where to spin it at. Tell me where to spin it at. Tell me where to spin it at. You can go get you two teams. And not be wet. Oh. No, hold on. You can go get you two teams, right? Right now, it's real shit. And put them on a retainer. It might cost you 15000 a month, right? They How might, many months? 10 months is 150 No, you don't need to. Listen, we, we plan. Listen, if an artist shows any traction, if you go on in this show, this dude got 250,000 monthly listeners, and he got three songs that then did 800,000, 1.2 million, 2 million. Then he got some YouTube views over there where one song is 5 million, other one is 4 million, 3 million. We just talking like that. Fuck a radio. What are they going to get out of this, this, this 200,000? Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. You could take two teams and put them to work on all those platforms, right? Get your numbers where they're supposed to be and cre- develop your fan base, right? And it's going to be a label that's going to come to you and say, hey, listen, whatever you spent, we'll give that back, and we got a million for you. Believe that. That's possible. And I can take his kids, and I guarantee you, by the bottom of first quarter, motherfuckers going to be banging on that door to get him a bag. He going to fuck it up because he's an old head, and he going to be thinking about our deals Instead of thinking about no 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 wait wait hold on hold on don't you ever put that spot on my name I ain't never fucked no deals up listen you're gonna be first of all I'm there you're gonna be sitting there well now we got it on order we got it on tape you're gonna be sitting there got it on tape right yeah fuck that where the camera at what camera okay they want this and they listen he gonna be like. They want this we percentage, got whack this on percentage, tape. that percentage. You know what I'm going to say? We got whack on tape. Say, they're going to take mac and cheese. And you spent what, 100? Hold up, hold up, hold up. You spent 100, your 100 coming back. They want to give you a million. Hold up. Get them people, they motherfucking 60% who give a fuck about that. It ain't a 360. You're going to get your merch bread. You're going to get your torn bread. Right. They only want two albums. So what you talking about? I'm just saying. How much? He's not gonna, How much? How much would you need to do that? I mean, with them... Seventy five hundred. Oh, I'm gonna wire it to you right now. Seventy five hundred. I'll wire that shit right now. I'll wire that oh, shit to you right you. now. No, he said seventy five to a hundred. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll wire that shit right now. You don't gotta sit. Remember, give him the game. I no, told him no, no. Send me the. He don't me. sit down long Fuck enough to man. get it. I'm right here. He don't give me no game. Shit. You don't sit down long enough to get it. Man, you know you got one of them, one of them brothers who want to just always talk about what he got. Uh-huh. Hold on. First of all. I'm still in research mode, so I'm not gonna bring Thank you, you something. Wait, wait. <laughs> exactly. I'm not gonna bring you something. You over niggas stay in research. You want it? No, no. He just said the whole story, so he can't be in research mode. No, no, he just told story. y'all the whole game, just right? Just like anything else, just like radio, you know this. Just because a motherfucker on right now, you come back to him, he might be off. Right. So what I've learned is that it, you gotta have at least five different teams. Right. Because any given day, these two motherfuckers might not be off. I just mm-hmm. went to Atlanta. But two more teams. Right. I'm four teams strong right now with this shit, right? And they all hitting, right? So what I'm about to do right now is test these other two teams with, with True Car, right? Because right? I got his project done. I'm not going to tell him, go on over here, get his dude the bag, and I ain't tested it. Right. Now, if he want to test it at the same time I'm testing, I'll let you do that. But I'm not going <laughs> to sit you in there first because I'm responsible. You know, I'm from the old right. rules. The motherfucker don't do what he's supposed to do. I'm going to run him this change back and then I got to deal with it. Right. So I'd rather go in and make sure it's solid, make sure these people are who they say they are before I pass it. Now, right. if you want to come in with me at the same time and we both know we rolling the dice, right. I know where these motherfuckers at and this, that, then we can do that. Right. But I'm not going to say, yeah, go call this dude and I ain't tested it. Right. I'm not going to I'm going to say this though, you right. He will fuck the deal. He fucked up two deals already. See listen, what I'm saying? Listen, I listen, listen. Know. I get him. I get, I get us in the door. The motherfuckers ain't. We need had them in the room. They heard two songs, two different labels. They're like, all right, we, we gonna get. He get in there talking some dumb shit. No, I no, told no. you. So, so, no, 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 so no, no, he no, was no. talking. Some, I already no, had. No, no, no. We had. I had oh, two. Oh, whack. Let me ask you a question. I had whack, two. Whack. Let me ask you a question. Whack. whack. We ain't activated them yet. So, so they they just hear the records. He want to get talking well, his records. They hear the records. They see. He the had look. too many deals. Hold on. When they the boat listen, pull up. You got to get on there. No, listen. Bitch. They hear the record. They they hear the records. They see the look, but. We ain't put the traction in yet. So how much why, money? Why how you just mu- to do the wait, single deal? Wait, how much money they going to get? I had all that shit. I, I, they you, got you, them. No. They sell merch right now. No, they no, they no, good. No. They cool. You probably could have did a single deal for no. like 300 No, but we going to come back. I was on we it. We going to come back. I was on it. Why? Single why? deal. I bust the move. Well, we got the traction. We going to come back. Well, how long ago has it been since you came back? No, no. We, we 
it ain't been too long. How was not too long? It ain't been too long. It's been COVID. How, how long? COVID kicked in a little bit. No, but see, that could, uh, COVID bit. ain't stopping the, the, the platforms. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. It's, 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 it's shut that shit down for no, a couple. No, 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 no. Stream is up. No, 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 no. It is. And it's about to be up. Stream is it's up. About to Radio. Be up. Streaming went down. Then it went down. It was back up. Was back but what time, I'm saying is, you could have did a single deal for those young men, right? They wasn't giving them 300, whack. What was they giving them? They wasn't giving them three. What was it? I could have made it happen. I was, no, he, what was he, it? He, half he, of that? He started talking that record. Wait, he wait, started wait, half talking of that? This, it wasn't plus a marketing it, budget. This boy. He started talking like he was a fucking uh, entertainment lawyer. I told you uh, going to fuck it up. Uh, Hey, Wack, if you I had these people. nut ass niggas, see, I knew y'all was. I had these people. So I knew all three of y'all was nut ass niggas. So let me ask you a question. How the, the fuck yard. did I get in there? Let me ask you a question. Uh, I'm the only motherfucker you This is the right reason here. why you should have went that way. I'm listening to you. You are the only nigga. It's amazing. It's the ability to do all this shit. Then we should have the plugs. And then you have the people to go do what the label could do at that time. Yeah. So why you ain't did it? The label service. No, we doing it right now. It's, it's, everything take time, bro. No, you, not these days. Really no, no, don't. no, no. It do, it do. It take time. The music done. See, I'm, no, I'm no. like this. First of all, they had, to, they had to complete no, the music. I'm like, put that one. shit out. I'm like, go. They had. He went a oh, whole. No, no, no. They he had to complete the about, music. He know too much. They had to about complete the, the music. I'm a go boy. No. Let's go. So let me, so let me tell okay, a story. Okay, wait, so let, let me, me tell a story. I got it. I got it now. I got it now. My turn to speak. So just in speaking for Gilly, first they had to get it in their mind that they mac and cheese because first they were single. Was solo artists, and then he want to sell dope. He want to get locked up I, for let selling me finish, dope. Let me finish. No, he didn't. No, I, no, I, I, no, I, I got it. Bro. I don't know what the, the fuck he's talking about. No, yes, he this do. is his uncle talking. He has never sold drugs one, a day in his life. No, one, one is he was in, in the wrong place at the wrong time. One is but all he caught a case. He caught a fucking yep. case. They put yep. it on him. I got it. I like that. Get him. I was gonna come to your aid, bro, because I'm in that situation. Go ahead, bro. Sorry. I've been in that situation. Break it down. And nigga don't want to put his name on some shit. And these niggas is acting like nuts. Thank you. One of them might be straight one no, minute. I'm, another with you on I'm with you on that. And then you don't never know. And then, you know, you've already been through the bullshit with niggas in the past before. So no, I'm you, with you you're on like, that. well, look, man, I don't care what's here because I ain't going to be sitting fucking off no situation till these niggas get it right. Right. Till so, they get their math So, right. Matt, can I ask you a question? Has she's been fucking your glow up up? Nope. Uh, he ain't gonna sell his know, brother out, you nut ass, ass nigga. nigga. But, listen, nut. but listen, what? Damn, how right. how nut, much nut, money? Nigga. Hell no. Nah. How much money? How much money did you lose fucking with artists that didn't listen? Oh, I lost a lot of money. A lot of money. And you telling me to go fuck my money up because they my no, sons. I, I wasn't, Get the fuck, fuck out of here. No, you told me. Hold on. You told me. That they walked in the room together and they liked the looks. No, 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 no. It was one up. He couldn't make it. He, you didn't say that. You said they, plural. No, no, that's Wallow talking. He, we just took his. See, you weren't hearing the whole story because listen, I'm hearing the whole story and I'm looking at them the whole time because she's want to be a bootleg fucking uh big meech. He wanted to be a bootleg big meech at one time. We had to say, okay, fuck it. Go ahead and do your little escapade, and we going to fuck with you. We got to do a solo project now. So he kept fucking up. Then he want to get his shit right. So then now, we, they back a group. And so really, you 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 know, it's the fucking artist that fucks shit up. It ain't me. Hey, you can take seventy five to 100000 and create your buzz and plant your seed to where labels might want to do some business with you. Absolutely. I mean, personally, like Draws was saying, my hundred probably gonna be valued at five six hundred mm -hmm. because I'm gonna get things done. I really ain't gotta pay for it. <coughs> but what's priceless is knowing what to do and having the relationships. Absolutely, you don't know what to do and how to go about doing it. Ain't gonna get done. Right, because it's not about who you know. It's about I mean, not about what you day. know. It's about who you know and how you know. Now, let me ask you something. Rest in peace, Nipsey. When you first linked with Nipsey, how did it go? The music. How did how did this come about? What you mean, like, when you, like the music thing? The music Push that situation. shit. Um, shoot. Um, I was just coming off. Of, I was just coming off the grind with Suge, really, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I was really like in grind mode. So I had like all the connections. <laughs> we mm -hmm. both had. And it's kind of like what, what, yeah. <laughs> it was kind of like what Wax say about, you know, you really having the connections to everybody. So it was really like between me, Wax, because me and Wax was like. One on one, so really kind of like to keep it one hundred. It's funny boy. how it's funny how um, when people talk about Nipsey, I got a major push from Game, mm -hmm. 
Our side, like Finesse. a Like, uh, uh, Game was really instrumental. And Game was that artist who helped put, give, give us that, that, that glow in, a, in, a, in L.A. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was Snoop did a song for us, then Game. And Game tell that weird ass story about he met Nip with a CD over... Over uh, uh, in the we in took the, him on the uh, LAX tour. In the, yeah, that came we from all the, through Big U. I, listen, I, I be listening listen. to these. I be listening to all these niggas tell these old weird ass stories. No, but Nip, Nip said that in the song on 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 on, on That's Born a Rap. He said that. He said, said what? He said he slid up on him with that with that hey, tape. Bro, first time they met, I got it on videotape. I got it on videotape. Nipsey's. It was at. Nipsey. It was. It was at. Now that might have happened. But I'm gonna tell you the first time they ever met with Game knew who Nipsey was, bro. Mm -hmm. Was remember when we was doing the video and I brought uh, get, uh, Game was doing a video. Was the Keisha I, Cole one? Well, I'm, I'm with that mansion and I got it yeah, on yeah, videotape. Yeah, yeah, when I first brought it in, Game I didn't even know his name. I introduced Game. He did the song. Game said, "That's what I." Me and Nipsey gonna there. be exactly. Me and Nipsey gonna be the next Dr. Dre and Snoop and Gil, and that was his first a Game because I had did Game. That's when I put deal. Bam. I'm Atlanta how the Atlanta um loving hip hop in the game. I put Bam, you know, Bam from Compton. Yeah. I put her in the um in, Who? The, in the Bam, the, the one with uh what's what's the youngster name? Scrappy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so Bam showed up and she just did a, a, the layoff of K Slay. But no, nah, it was a gang of work though. It was a lot, it was a lot of work, man. And um but that really was to different keep back then though, bro. But, but, you, but, shit, but I'm gonna tell you shit, too, right now, these kids today here. These kids today don't don't have a work ethic. Like that was the difference between them. Right, that made him stand out past all the rest of my homeboys. And, and, and the too. thing about Nip, because he wanted it more. And the mm -hmm. thing about Nip, when I met you back then, you know, Nip wasn't knowing yet. I think y'all was in the midst of talking to Sony, trying to yep. get him a deal yeah, over, over yeah, at Sony. Yeah. And the thing that always stood out about Nip was his mentality was past gang banging at a young age. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you would be sitting there talking to Nip, and Nip would talk about some shit that was like, you will be like, damn, this nigga, you know, this nigga really got a head on his shoulders. You know what I'm saying? He got, he, you know, he could really think for himself. Right. He, you know what I'm saying? So that was one thing that I, that I really fuck with Nip about. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't, because a lot of niggas that I met from around here, they, you know, they stuck in that gang banging mentality. They can't see past that shit. But Nip... Nip always since it was young nigga could see past that. But if shit. you notice that though, a lot of my homeboys like that, especially right. ones that I had with me. All right. Because it really wasn't like you was gonna move. Like I wanted, I wanted a certain crew to move with me. Because right. you need to be able to move with everybody, cuz right. bloods. Right. And I wasn't really on that. I wasn't. I, I wasn't. Not really. Wasn't. I wasn't on that. Period. Right. It was a whole sense. You got to have a sense of owning yourself. Right. Because I'm gonna be around dudes that you consider once to be your enemies. Right. And if that was your Man, mentality, I, I didn't phone. want. I didn't want you around me. Right. So when I came home, I was instilling that. Right. So it was. It was. It was about. You was just we, fighting in the yard with was, niggas that wasn't crips. No, I was riding for exactly. I was fighting in the yard with niggas who was just black. Right. Black men. Mm -hmm. Right. Because in the rides you was talking about. It wasn't no Rolling Sixties. I was right. the only one on that yard that would have right. been affiliated with that. Right. But going to the mindset, when I came home, you got to understand, when I came home, my little homies who came to mess with me already knew where I was. Right. They already knew I was dealing with shit. Right. They already knew I was dealing with whack. Right. They already knew I was running, how my mindset was. You know what I'm saying? It was, to, to, if I'm bringing you in, I bring you in to, to, to be a certain way. And right. the rapper respected a certain way. Mm -hmm. OSBS is the same way. My group right now. Uh, 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 what's up, Mickey? These kids are all the same way. They know my mentality, so they take on that mentality. Mm -hmm. I ain't going nowhere gang banging. I don't care if I'm over say cuz, blood, what's up, so whatever. I don't give a fuck about, none, a right. fuck about none of that. So right. you ain't gonna come to the door with me that. doing yeah. that. Yeah. Right. We don't. So, so, so when I came home, you gotta remember before I even took Nip out, there was coaching and teaching going on. Right. Cause see, that's what don't happen today. Right. You don't get none of these youngsters with no cultural teaching. When I first started bringing him around y'all, we was already talking about what the video was going to be, what the songs were going to be. We're going to represent the hood, but we ain't going to diss nobody in none of these videos. Right. You got to remember, I studied all the videos. Right. I shot all the Nipsey first videos. You know what I'm saying? I shot them. You're going to see directed, shot by Big U and all of them. Bullets and no name, Crips and all that, all that shit we did, I did that. I went through every video and made sure nobody hood was crossed out, nobody was being dissed. You know what I mean? But we all got subs because that's how we talk. You know what I mean? Right. And, and he was the first one. You got to remember this. 
Nipsey couldn't have never became Nipsey unless he was with his big homeboy. Right. Because niggas didn't want him to be. At first, they didn't the want doors, him to call himself the first, Nipsey. First of all, they bro, was like, it's already a dude named Nipsey Russell. That. Listen, Change that. Listen. They didn't the want doors to say wouldn't have opened. Because one thing you got to respect about it is at that time, on the corporate side of it, and the mainstream artists, yeah. the Bloods was in full control. And then he was no done. Oh, we was not finna open no doors. Out of pure respect, a big you, the doors open. What you what mean that? the Bloods was in control? Break that down. The fuck you mean? All the labels, I, all, all the, the labels, radio, all, all the, the, the indies. I mean, the then it's still the like big that artists. Now. Whether they was from Cali or they was from New Orleans or whether they was from the East Coast, it yeah. was a blood dominating system at yeah. the time. Damn. So. When Big U come through the door, it was a pure respect thing. Whatever he needed, we made it happen. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't about nothing. changed, really. And, 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 then, and then not only that, he'll tell you. I argue with him about a lot of shit. Like, we go back and forth, but ultimately, if he say, little bro, this what I need, we going to do that. It's the same thing with me. I can go over there. Oh, he advised me against it. If I'm standing real firm on it, he going to say, fuck it. Here. Right? Yeah. So, he, he kicked open... A lot of doors. Man, Rolling Sixes is one of the most hated motherfucking gangs in Los Angeles. Yeah. What nobody looking to bend over backwards to help them niggas? Right. But we do we, business though. No, they we, do no, we no, do, no, this is real listen. Of because of the work so. they put in yeah. and, and the, the whole overall thing. It was it was we didn't no disrespect. We didn't do that for sixties. We did that for big you from sixties. Right. And, and, and let me explain it's real clear. shit. Let me be clear. What he's talking about is on the business side and on the music side. Because right. a lot of motherfuckers can destroy you without ever even talking to you. Right. A lot of this can say in the background, yeah. I don't fuck with dude. And then or we don't fuck, fuck with you. dude. Or we and don't do business with like dude. And then, and then a lot of those don't open. Right. You know what I mean? Well, and, and, see, and see, it don't be like what niggas is hearing like, and I'm gonna, let me give you a name. Like say Birdman at one point is the top motherfucker in a in, in a what, what, what is his name? Uh, Interscope? No, he would Universal. 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 If you trying to go through the Universal line, and Birdman don't fuck with you, and he the top nigga in the in Universal line, if you a sub label in Universal, it's eventually gonna go through his channel. And I'm just using him as a, as an example because he's a good he's a good friend of mine. He actually helped help me too. You know what I'm saying? But now imagine. If you're trying to go through E1 or A1 or Universal and you got to go through Whack Line. Yeah. And you hey, you going eventually going to get through there I'm because they don't say call. who who making us money right now. Straight up. Who made us money? Right. They're going to So call that's me. what he's talking about. So at the time that I came and I and, and I came in and I was coming in with Nipsey, a lot of the buildings we was going to was dominated and niggas was talking about send me the music. Right. I'm telling my niggas was asking to rehear the music who hadn't we hadn't even got a music to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like we got a deal. We our first do you know the first person to ever put Nipsey in the studio was Charlie Walk? I mean not uh, Charlie Walk, but um what's the name of Warner Brothers? Um uh, uh, who was at Warner Brothers at that time? Because that's when Top Dog was over there. Um Eshawn was over there, was Eshawn? No, nah, uh uh the label that owned the Warner it was it was running running Warner Brothers. I know you're talking about. I want to say Charlie Walker, no, but no, it ain't the one Charlie Walker was on. Uh, well, anyway, it was, it, was, it was him. He was the first one. And and, and, and then it was a uh, 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 Top Dog gave us some time. You know what I'm saying? Then it was and Game. He was, he was still on the come up. It, 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 was, it was Whack. Sugar gave us studio. Sugar gave us studio time. As a matter of fact, to keep 100, Sugar gave us the whole month to, for Nip to record and for the Slauson Boys to record. Uh -huh. uh, um, off Ventura. Yeah. So and, uh, when he's saying that, he's saying that it was a whole lot. Of, it was a whole lot of love that was coming on yeah. because of the way I came home. Right. The right. way I came home was inclusive to everybody. Like right. he said, Bloods, right. everybody at my house. Right. Sugar to come park his cars at my house. Just him and whack. Right. Right there in my neighborhood. Yeah, I, listen, I argue and with my wife. Block the whole fucking street. Me, I would get an argument with my wife. I would pass up my neighborhood. All kinds of the neighborhoods. It'd be 12 midnight. i go to that mother house, open the door, She'd call go to the man cave, and go to sleep. <laughs> and be sleep. Straight yeah. up. In, in the heart of 60s. Mm -hmm. And yeah. go to sleep. Yeah, like absolutely. so. Is it true that you were Suge Knight a uh, driver? No, I was. You just I used was, to heat the car up and like. No, never speak. that. 
But or, nah, Suge, if you know Suge, he drove his own car. He bought no car heater, man. Nah, it's a car heater. Suge drove, yeah. drove his own car. Yeah. And and at that time, and draws to tell you this, I was one of, I was one of, hey, hey, hey. He hey, know, he know. Hey, homie, no, was no, you hold on. driver? No, hold on. We want to know. to tell you this, I was one of very, very few, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, probably one of the only ones on our side. That when I come through the back door, I'm in the bins. I'm in. I, I had my own shit. Yeah, yeah. Those I things. had all my own shit, so it wasn't. I never wore a death row chain. I did business with the homie. Yeah. I never was on a death row payroll. Yeah. I've never called him Simon. I wanted to get on the fucking death I row never, payroll. I don't fuck I with that fuck Simon you shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I called the homie Shug. Uh, that's it. Because there wasn't no Simon. Do Shug still own the masters? <laughs> nah, never not. Nah. He don't, he don't own the match. He want, he I was trying to get a motherfucking check like, everywhere yeah. I get. That's <laughs> why I, I got it. Thing, I came at the wrong time when everything was falling. Hold up, you it's heard like, this? Yeah, E one owns a whole catalog. That's E1 why, owned, that's what, why the I whole death row catalog. That's why I got a, a, a sense of control no over the catalog because I'm in E one. So if I want to do a project with that catalog, the boss around the corner. I got one now. I go in there and just go through the do it. Tupac shit and anything. Everybody unhurt, un unreleased shit, everything. Charlie Wilson, Stoop shit, shit that ain't Dog never been in my, all that shit. Uh, left album, when we changed her name to Nina, all that shit's in there. Mm. All the yeah. reels. So let, let me just say this before we get out of here. Cause we been here four hours. No, we only been here for an hour and 41 minutes, but we get out. But but listen, and honestly, this is the longest episode we ever had. Our episode's usually an hour, but you niggas is some entertaining niggas. Uh, I just want to ask this question. I'm not a nigga, brother. Uh, Thank you, nigga. brother. He's a nigga. I'm a nigga sometimes. Yeah. Let me ask y'all this question. Matter of fact, I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. Then we're going to end it off like this. <laughs> Charge you. Who's the most prominent crip of all time? Um, uh, and why? When you say, say prominent, would, what is prominent? You, this ain't you know, your question? I, would, I, would, I listen, just want to know prominent. You know, I got to factor in everybody, and I'm going to tell you to why. To go to crip no, no, listen, no. I, listen, I'm going to say this. I'm gonna get out again and big you. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm not taking nothing from the ones that started it, the two keys and all them, right? The Raymond Watch. I'm not taking nothing from them, right? But what I'm looking at the longevity of it, the achievements of it, right? Um, and where they stand today, right? Business wise, family wise, we got one of the brothers was on death row, right? It's only so much you can do. I don't even know if he had children. I'm not in tune with him yeah, like yeah, that. Kids. Right? It's only so much you can do sitting from death row. He did a lot of children's books and things of that nature. But when I sit, and I, because I know him personally, right? Mm -hmm. I know his family. I know his achievements. I know what his goals was, what he wanted to do. Before he did them, I watched him birth. I watched him come to life. I watched him take hits. I watched him be attacked by the law. You know what I'm saying? I watched him bounce back from it. Right, I watched him be attacked by his own people and still stay positive through it and survive it and bounce back from it. Right, when he could have really shined the light and did some other shit. Right, <laughs> so I say that to say this, business wise, bro, he's mid fifties, he's fifty something. Right, he's still here, free. He's been free maybe what sixteen years. Sixteen. Sixteen years. Right, Absolutely. he's still free. Right, not only is he free, he's totally legit and he's legal. Right, not only that. He's stepped into our community and in his section has reduced gang violence by like 40, 50, 60 percent in his area. Not only has he done that, he's opened his doors to who I know is his arch enemies, a trade gangsters and cats over here, over here and said, hey, come see me and I'll show you how to get set up. So you can have contracts with the city of Los Angeles so you can help reduce the gang violence in your section. These are things that he does that I don't do, right? right. I've seen him take kids and continuation schools and take time out of his day and sit with these kids. I've seen him run around and harass the shit out of us. I need this money, man, to buy these, these helmets or these mm -hmm. discs or these cleats, right? I've seen, him do, I've seen him do these things. So when it comes to achievements... And when it comes to giving yeah. Crippen, right, a positive light of showing where you can come from and what you can stand for, right, and still be here standing today, all his limbs and of saying my and legal, and not on the run, being able to move around multiple businesses. When it comes to that, right now to date in 2020, I gotta get at the draws. I gotta get at to him, based upon the stats. 
Mm. Who the biggest blood of all time? I want to come from. I want to see it from a crip standpoint, from a blood standpoint of all time. Yes, like who's the number one blood? He used a crazy of all word because we yeah. ain't done yet. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> I'm talking up to yet. now, yeah. up to this point. <laughs> I would, no, let, 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 I mean, let me say the biggest blood of all time would say would have to be should. The one that's moving the, and moving the Pentium and represented would be whack. You know what I'm saying? I, have, I because haven't of achieved all the things that he, I he's haven't doing achieved right now. the things that. Suge had achieved. Yeah. Well, no. Even Suge, with him sitting in prison, doing the time he's doing, yeah. he has knocked down doors. And I, I'm on the verge of doing it. I got a few yeah. things in the life. I got a few things coming that's my own that that's going to help our culture. And, and I, didn't have a, I didn't have a lot to compete with yeah. as far as like a black nah, man. No, he didn't. I didn't have a lot. I mean, you would say that the most famous, to me, if you ask me that question, I would say the, the biggest crip to me would probably be. Well, you know what? Let me let me correct you. Tookie with that. Or, or Raymond Washington, but the most famous would be Monster, I would think. Monster Cody. Let me correct Monster you. Now, Cody. You got Top Dog. Mm -hmm. Top Dog from Bounty Hunters. Oh, my bad. We got Top, Top Dog. Dog. Top Dog, yeah. right now, when it comes to business wise, yeah. being where he's from, he didn't yeah. walk the yards. You know, that, that, that he one of my mentors, and I'm one of them dudes that keep it real, right? Yeah. I could be in the driver's seat, passing the back seat, yeah, pushing the car, whatever it got to be. So I would I would say when it comes to this to this red flag right now, Top Dog is probably carrying the torch. But not only is that, he's coming, smart as a motherfucker. Coming, yeah, you know, coming behind Suge, and he's not too far off from reaching those accomplishments that Suge You don't think he's there already? Well, you no, gotta understand it was so, a different. Shit, so it was a different shit thing. Shitload of records, bro. Yeah, it's a, it was. A, but it's a different shit, era of yeah, shitload. But it's, it's a different. But that's uh, probably streaming the shitload. Of, but you gotta of remember, music, Top Dog still shit here. But no, we're standing. going to streaming though. No, no, no. Look, Top Dog still selling here. selling records and streaming. Top Dog still here and standing. Uh, I can only imagine movies and and other things coming into work. TD still thriving. Shout Jeff Rowe has dog. been folded. So his company's still thriving. So I mean, yeah, he has a period on his. Yeah, he has yeah, a period absolutely. on his. Well, top don't. Top so don't. listen, but, man. but I'm gonna say this though: between Kendrick and what's the girl name? Uh, um, Scissor. Scissor. Yeah. And then uh, um, schoolboy. And, and schoolboy, come on, man. J Rock too. No, no, they definitely they doing it. You got you can't leave J Rock out of there. No, no, J Rock. We talking about J Rock moving. Snoop. J Rock is moving some serious numbers. The dog pound. All them dudes want platinum, 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 multiple platinums. Man, you gotta understand. Skew went never went platinum. No, you gotta understand. Fucking Tupac's album. Double CD went fucking eight times platinum, eight nine times yeah. platinum. So, yeah, but it wasn't no competition no. like that, though. Amazing. Yeah. But no, you know top, top, yeah. top, so, top. That, so if you went eight, that's equivalent to one doing sixteen. Right. It was that's selling like that right bitch now, for like thirty nine dollars. Right. So, so, so with us, <laughs> my I project is coming yeah, out. Yeah. Huh? Like they say, January, March. Okay. It's a documentary. With, um, we doing. It's called Hip Hop Untold. And wait, and that's West Coast. Because because you got to remember what's what's good. You, you know, as far as Crips and Bloods, we talking about in the music game. Cause well, Birdman, who else? Because Birdman got a flag in his back. Birdman of blood too. Yeah, 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 he got a red flag man, in his back. Fucking pocket. Bloods in New Orleans, Bird, man. Well, the, not when hey, I was down there. Birdman no got a flag, a red flag. Well, bloods in New Orleans. When I was down there. Pocket. Hey, I appreciate you. And he's still standing. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Each and every week. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me just say this. Let me say this. Let me just say this. Let me 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 say this. Though, Gilly, you say wallow on Birdman Dick, but last time I could recall, you signed the contract. I didn't. I signed he, for the he just offered me a deal. <laughs> Birdman, you called me. Well, Birdman said, Wallow, he just want to do one something. You, he, he, respect you. He respect me. He said, Wallow, let's, so, you want to label Wallow? Let's not do that. I'm trying to get a label. Let's not do that. Him, I'm ready to get a label. No, he fucking with Cash Money East. He I got some shit you. I'm working with you, nut. He fucking Cash with you. Yeah. Artists, I'm telling y'all, yeah. we signing mac and cheese. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, they yeah. Grown. They make, shit, they yeah, grown. Anyway, man, I got a documentary. Oh, it's documentary. Hey, what you mean? Documentary. documentary. Signed off you got to get your royalties. This shit ain't getting signed off for Go ahead. The documentary. The documentary. You tell me this publisher. Shout out to Cash Money. Let me say this, though. Big you. Cash Buddy West. Tell us about your I got a documentary coming out, man. 100 ENT. You know what I'm saying? And what is what is next year, top of the year, hip hop. It ain't coming out until I get my be, part in it. It ain't coming uh, out. Me, Trick Trick, Haitian Jack, 
Yeah, we got the great Haitian Jack. Y'all gonna love this one. We got Deb, Walker Flocker Mama. And we got Bimmy. Oh, this is the one you blocked me out of. No, you in there. He blocked us the five. It's the five. It's some more weird shit. shit. Weirdo. Hey, shit. listen. This Weirdo thing, bro, shit. like I told you, he's bipolar. Weirdo you know shit. shit. Check it out. We're coming out. Hip hop untold. You know what I mean? It's going to be phenomenal. Now I remember. Six part on FX. They spent over five million on this document. Okay. He did a deal with you know, a nigga years. that I didn't get along with. Man, come on, man. Cut. I'm up. Ho, ho, ho. Don't go nowhere. You, hold up. You, you. you. I ain't said no names. One thing. I ain't said no names. Before, 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 before we leave, leave. you don't get yeah. along yeah. with. Hey, hold up. It's before whack we leave, come on, man. Listen, man. We'll come hey, out of whack mouth. Until you get it right hey, man, with bro, I ain't fucking with you. We're not doing that. But listen, what? It's all right. Before we leave, both of y'all. What? Young kids out here listening to it, they fascinated with the gang culture. What do you tell them that don't that they, they ain't in no gang? I will tell every gang member. Not no, they're not 18, in the gang. Listen, they're not in the gang. Listen, let me talk listen. to the ones that are. If you're not in the gang and you're 18, 21, and you ain't got no felonies, I advise you so we can have our people on our side, go to the military or go and listen to police the police academy because i would much rather have you pulling me over because you understand me understand me than them the kids is not in the game keep doing what you're doing the dumbest thing i probably did in my life i don't have no regrets because of who i am today is star game man because end of the day it really wasn't no benefits uh outside of what we cleaned it up and and made it to be what about it ain't you? nothing there for you. I said the same damn thing. If you if you don't have no felonies, and you don't like what the police is doing, go join them. Yeah, pull us up. But they're not gonna let you join anyway because they got the system in place because the credit and all the other bullshit. But they, but if you can, take over the system. Yeah, take over the system. And LA is so arbitrary to the truth. They gang banging on the police department. Like a you motherfucker. Have they got Hispanics out here. There. Is it have the Hispanics out here? Eighteenth Street and White Fence and all that, and they gonna pull you over and tell you, sheriffs and LAPD. So, I would tell the youngsters if you if you looking at that and you want to be a part of something, go be a part of something that's gonna be inclusive of you. Until we can get this shit right, until we can see Bloods and Crips continue to do what myself yeah. and Wack have done and moved into an era of becoming pillars of our community and trying to do that instead of sitting around just trying to get high smoke and be about the bullshit. And I, I, we just want to end it off like this, right? To all the youth out there that's watching this episode, you got a, 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 a top flight blood, you got a top flight crip. You got a top flight a, man, a grown top ass flight. Man. Who grew who grew in the top flight men, and at one time they might have been beefing, but they showing the world that shit ain't that serious no more. Man, we we I mean, we get could to, get, you know sometimes a conversation and and getting to know somebody and understand where they coming from, you know, eliminates 10, 20 years of turmoil and violence. Right. It's not needed. A lot of people, the kids don't know, if they really did the research on why their neighborhoods or why their sections is beefing, it'd be on some personal shit. This dude robbed this dude. This dude fucked this dude's wife. This dude did this shit. It'd be on some personal shit that had nothing to do with the neighborhood. He just so happened to be from that neighborhood. And it was in control of some niggas. No, I got even better. <laughs> you know Let I'm me saying? do this. When it comes to game banging and when it comes to any kind of organizations, not just Crips and Bloods, um... We tend to look at a black man. I was doing this experiment with this brother the other day. And what's funny to me is when it comes to gangs or anything, I don't even know I'm supposed to hate you until you tell me where you're from. That's crazy. You know, fam, if you walk in the room, five dudes walk in the room right now, I got to ask you where you from before if I know I can like you. Right. Damn. That's you know what I mean? So... <laughs> if I don't know you, I gotta look for something. Right. That tell you right there where you right. That's around. worse than right segregation. Around. That's you know worse than the white folks looking at us and saying, "Oh, he's this. We can't. We don't like him." Right. We looking at each other and it's cool. But as soon as he say he from this section, it's fuck you, your mama, right. everything, kill him. And that's the, that. That's the. That's the. Um. That's the, we gotta stop hating us. We gotta get past. Believe that. That's real shit. Well, listen, man. We appreciate you. The big homie, big you, the motherfucking big homie, whack one hundred, coming out, you know, just giving up the game to the youth, man, and just you know giving us an insight on the whole blood, the whole crip, and the whole how you guys have grown from, you know, young 
gang bangers in the you know grown ass businessmen out here really making shit happen on a whole different level so we salute y'all man we salute everybody for tuning in each and every week making us the number one music nah, podcast fuck in the uh, fucking country straight up. each and every week man barstool yeah. Sports.com. Get your merch. Get your merch. Get your merch. I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow267. Tony the Closer. Joe Budden Killer. Whack 100. Yo, come on. Don't do that, man. Don't, yeah. Why you throw Joe up there, man? Don't throw. I, man, listen. I, I'm riding with the homie on that. I know, but damn. We, we ain't beef with Joe, man. I don't know. Man, man, you. you just yeah, talked Joe. all this positive shit, man, and you going to say that about that Joe. That nigga's not positive. He be attacking our youth. You know what he do. I'm going to stand down. I'm on. just saying, till, <laughs> till <laughs> Gilly say... It, it ain't it's on. Good. It's no, on. no, it ain't on. It ain't, it ain't on. on. Shout okay. out to Joe, man. And it's just like, like that. that. Right.